Well, folks, welcome back to Bellini's on Sunday for a Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland match play. And as we can see, my good friend Miha has got the camera out just to give you a wee bit of a feel of Bellini's. Just see Laura Turner there, we've got the camera. 16 boards up here on the top floor of Bellini's in Uri. We've got the men's match play, we've got the women's match play, also got the youth open and match play. So, two is on. so just see who's the boards on the floor. There's Stephen Ritchie there. Stephen Ritchie doing some advertising for local establishments in Uri. There's board one. Just look around the crowd there in front of the main stage. And as you see, there's a few of the Northern Ireland lads there. There's our good friend Michael McLernan. How's he done a great stint and come, cool commentating yesterday? There's the legend that's George McGivern. There's the bar. Which will go out the fun later on. So, uh, who have we got here now? There's Darren Clifford. Great performance as he gets the final of the board. Then the last 64 is good to see him back. Austin Thompson. Just everyone just seems to start packs and rain, good enough out tune. After a very, very long day yesterday, so everyone just pack up here from Australia, just get warm up. Tommy McCartney's here. Looking concentrated, trying to get into the zone for his game. There's Northern Ireland Dorsch team manager, Gareth Chambers. Give us a wave, Gareth. No. And we'll have an Avenger here as well thrown. Well, Gareth looks happy. Is that too often? Gareth doesn't like the camera. So here's the control desk where all the hard work done, all the draws are made, and all the people report the scores. Jeff Wiley there. Kerry Leahy. Grace Crane. This is that's where all the hard work is. There's Davy Glenn. A great performance from Davy yes. He just kept in the final, final board by Nick Kenny. So. Here's the other side, here's the other 16 boards. And this is where the women's competition and the youth competition of the hill, and there we have, oh, there's Helen Dunn. And there's the WDF World Champion, Neil Duff. Right, that was a wee bit inappropriate. <laughs> Obviously they know each other very well. Stacey Dunn there, that's Helen's daughter. Starting to make a bit of a name for herself in the women's dart scene in the country. So. And Denise, and Denise Kelsey is here. Very great run getting the semi final, where she is. Well, Lisa Ashton was in great form. Yes, he's always going to beat Denise, uh, Lisa. Yes, like. Denise tried her best, but just wasn't good enough. And there's Anna Mulligan, near his own Anna Mulligan, the fall in the angel herself. I think her first round game against uh, Laura Turner later on. There's the pup, Anthony Dundas himself. Apparently done very well in the karaoke last night, according to reports. Chris Gillian, Northern Iron number three, the ginger ninja himself. Making a bit of a name for himself in the Buddha Start League as well. Doing, doing great things there. Won a couple of competitions this year, but I think, as well. So he's making a name for himself too, across the water and in the country. So this is just, just, just to give you a bit of a feel of what um, the atmosphere in Bellini's is like the crowd that's here, the players, and it's going to be, it's going to be another great day. I assume. I mean, Lisa Ashley, the red hot favourite, or the double up, it's won the open last night. It's going to take an all, it's going to take some tour to beat her today for the match play. The men's match play, Darren Johnson won the open last night in a great game against Nick Kenny. Two of them average just under 92. Basically, this does, and there's the there's the Lancashire Rose herself, Lisa Ashton, deep in conversation with semi finalist Jesse Anthony, Anthony Allen. And here's the got there's James, there's the back of James Beaton. First round loser, I'm the first round winner yesterday. Bradford Edwards, beaten quarter finalist yesterday in the Open. I think he could do well today. He impressed me yesterday, what a scene from. There's our little setup there. That's the setup of Martin McAvoy. So there's all the screens. There's the score screen. 
the cameras and there's where all your comments are seen and there's the there's where everything there's that's where the power is that's how everything is getting through to you and that's, that's how you're hearing me as well and me hall later there's the main stage no marker this year all the scores are typed in or done either can't be by mark so he hears the caller and he just types it in and just up there on the screen so no need for a marker this year this goes at technological advances that us at Magnavise are seeing are bringing to keep these um, just to keep the stream going and the school's going the rain hide there beating Fengler's yesterday and there is, oh, there's me in the top corner talking to you so turn around Lisa gives us with come on Lisa gives us man you, you love the camera Well, you can see a great array of dark shirts here again. Always a very common occasion here in Belize with the dark shirts. I can see one yesterday with the Joker on, also seen one with Jack Nicholas on it. I don't know why, but it was definitely Jack Nicholas with the Shining. Must be called Johnny or something, I don't know. There's the Scottish lads, and there's Ben Bevan. The character of ever there was one. Always laughing, always smiling. No, Ben, you're not a quiet fella. We, uh, hey, hey, no, 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 get away, get away, get away. I don't want the wife to see me. She thinks I'm doing the dishes. Another thumbs up there for Michael Wise, our streaming. So, hopefully, so hopefully we get this kicked off. I think the first game should be with 12. And there's the man himself, the man of the pirate, Mark McAvoy himself, <laughs> CEO, chairman, kingpin of McAvoy's Dark Streaming. He does all the hard work, I just sit here and talk. So I was saying, hopefully we should be kicking off about 12 o'clock with the first game. Between Ray Bailey and Jamie Harvey, two local Northern Ireland players, in the first round of the World Match Play. I think the second game up is the WDF World Champion Neil Duff. Okay, I'm nearly certain it's Neil Duff. He's, a, he's next up after Ray. So he looked a bit to make a statement. He looked a bit of a statement too, hopefully. So. We're just going to take a quick break now and then we will be back with the first game up which will be Roy Bailey against Jamie Hurry so um, I'll talk is later on and Michal will be here as well to keep us in track. So see you, talk to you soon folks.
Tan, welcome back, everybody. Damien, it is great to see you, my friend. It's great to be here, isn't it? Here on we are. Day two of the Darts Festival that is here in Bellini's every weekend in October. Well, this weekend and every... every you know what I mean? I know what you yeah. mean and you know what I mean. Yeah. Folks, it's wonderful to be back with you. I hope you're all having a great weekend. I hope you've been enjoying the darts here on McAvoy Live Darts Streaming. Uh, welcome, of course, to our viewers on YouTube. Uh, many thousands of you yesterday in total. Um, what a day we had yesterday. It was great, wasn't it? Some Wow. We had some great games. One, two, one, two. Some last minute adjustments there, Damien. And we're almost good to yeah. go. Thanks, everybody, again, for joining us online. Good to see almost 100 people there live interacting with us already. Such an early stage in the day. Great to have you on. Yes, always welcome here at McAvoy's Door Streaming. So, first game, Ray Bailey, Jamie Harvey. See me butting up to see who has the darts. That's best of seven. Humble Crumble. That's a great name, isn't it? Best of name. Best of name there is that's it. <laughs> I believe it's best of seven, yes. Yeah, well, I, uh, I believe so. Yeah, best name is probably the best name in the final. It's probably just. Not updated from last night. Not sure. Yep, just getting sorted now. Oh, it'll, it'll update brave and sharp, I can tell you. Yep, there we go. One more back up and running. Best of seven legs. And Roy Bailey, again, as you said, he's worn many a shirt. Uh, but as he said to us just before he came on, Damien, up the welders. He's a, he's a, he's a welders man <laughs> through welders and through. Man. Oh, always had my roster career, but I represented Northern Ireland many a time. Just, um, a great man for a great occasion. Yep. I had the pleasure of actually playing him once yep. in I think it was a Smilix Open one time. I, I came second, but it was only a child then back then. There's right of dirt just outside. It's a rather rambunctious crowd today, as you'll hear. As 25, Jamie has the darts. So Jamie has the darts against Ray here in this first game of the Northern Iron match play. Right. Game on. Game on. I love them words, game on. Indeed. 
We all do. 30. So, 30 there from Jimmy. Just probably not, just not settled into it yet. Just looking in the floor. 100. All, all the games seem to be on, but that's a good solid start there from Ray. Twenty-six. I don't know. A bit of nerves there from Jimmy on the big stage. Would you say, Mijo? Well, you're you're stirring down the, the barrel of the experience of Ray Bailey here. That's true. Multi- multiple time international. Eighty-three. Yeah. Multiple time winner of some of the category A NIDO major events. Mark, I'm sure he's won them all. He probably won them all the same year. No one. One hundred. Man has a a litany of trophies. In a trophy cabinet, which can't be underestimated. No. So, uh, as you were saying, expecting a great, expecting a great day of darts here. Sixty. And this is only the beginning of it. Thirty. We'll just put it out there ahead, folks. You're going. You may hear some colourful language from the crowd today. We do apologise if you pick up on any of that background noise. We appreciate it is a very rambunctious crowd. Yep. After such a wonderful day yesterday, they're back in today. Sixth day. And they're, uh, they're fitting ready for Damien. Excited, excited adrenaline fueled back, crowd. They're just having fun. 41. Like they've been a long time, long time away from us, so why not? Just have, enjoy Absolutely. yourselves. You know, Absolutely. So. We did have uh, a walk around earlier. I turned cameraman for a short while. It was great to see so many people back again today. 134. Look at oh, that visit oh, from great, Roy. Great setup there for Roy. Leaving 64 after 15. Setup's all important. Indeed it is. All important. Jimmy way back. I don't know if the nerves probably just getting to Jimmy here. Probably 47. Yes, the experience of... Throw the experience, 64. The experience of Roy. May have to the build stage. himself into the game a bit. Yeah, just sees himself gently into it, as I say. So tops here for Ray to take on the lead. 24. Unlucky, what a heel the back. 35. Good last one there. From the 85. Region. Thrower wants 40. Don't expect Ray to take this out in this visit. <laughs> Just down a wee bit. For two tens. And 40 shop. There we are. Good confident dart there from Roy. Andy has a dart. Roy right. has. So apart from the darts in um, Bellini's here, Michal, other server sporting occasions is happening today, which we are pers- have personal interest in. 43. There's a lot of sport on today. It is yeah. indeed a super duper Sunday. So if they would like to keep us updated on them um, football from 2 o'clock onwards, we'll much appreciate that as well. One hundred and forty. Roy has really eased himself in this game very quickly, hasn't he? Yes, indeed. One hundred and forty there. That's great scoring from Roy. Let's go to show you can't be an experience like that. And he's in again. 95. Oh, that's so Expected a 140 there from that visit from Roy when he got that treble in. 100. So that's 100 there from James. Hopefully that leads him in. That'll just be a bit more of a game of this, but. 140. But he just. Uh, Jimmy's seen to settle, it, settle a bit more in this leg now. 100. Just like that, he's. Thrower wants 83. Just a wee bit of nerves to say in that first leg. And Roy comes in. 
on the 83, so treble 17, so that's 66, probably 16 in the ball, no. So 16 and top stairs. 43. Back. All James all James can do is just pressurise it. Spray it back on one year two. 59. Only 59 there so leaving one, two, 40. three. Again, Ryan leaves himself on tops. So took this out in the first leg. Fully expecting to take it out in this leg too. 40 shot. And he only needs the one dart. Ryan Jamie takes Haas. it in the lead, so. Breaking the first leg, a hole on the second leg. And Roy is just playing as Roy Bailey can play. He's been thrown like this for all his career. 140. That was a great start there from James. It's a brilliant start. Let's see what Roy has now. 41. Only 41, that's not like Roy. Like Ryan's been playing well this game. And only a 41. If that's a point about that. 43. As will Jamie. Like every opportunity there to, to follow off that 140. Just couldn't take it. Very, very disappointing. 45. Ryan right, just seen the kind of get off the boil a wee bit here. One hundred. James Kenny just sees himself back into it. Just, just this leg so far is just like a rule reversal from the first two legs. Jamie's doing all the scoring, rises off the wild, but here he comes back again. One hundred. One Good. thing about Roy, he'll not go off the boil too long, Damien. No, he doesn't. No. All about timing with Roy. He knows when to hit the big scores. Fifty-eight. Good solid fifty-eight there from Jim. Leaving seven one sixty when he returns. So a ton plus here can pull Roy back into it. Sixty. And only a sixty. So we're once hundred and sixty. So forty one. Oh, bit of a slack sack third dart there. Leaving 119. As Ray goes back in. Cal, can he fill it up for the first time? 140. Oh, oh that's unlucky. That was very, Throw very close. 119. So, 19 first start has to be. So, it leaves 72. 119 oh. shot. Oh. That's some check out, Damien. That was well a bit of a miscount there for me. I thought he was in 72, but obviously he was in 62. He wasn't 62, sorry. Great finish there. It's always nice to finish in the ball. 119 shot. <laughs> 119 shot. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Damien. It's not too often you get a high out this quick in the game, but there you go. No. Right to throw. Pulls right back into the game. Right to throw. Yeah, but it was only a hole. When you're having to take out 119s to hole, huh? Yeah. This early in the game. Well, he is playing right. Barry. Thirty-four. He is. So James, these, I'll probably say like that. Probably felt him full of confidence now, so he get the break that he needs. He oh, eighty-five. Absolutely, you would expect so. A good solid eighty-five there to begin. Roy will not be taking any of this under his wing. No, Roy doesn't care what he scores. Roy just cares about what Roy scores. Correct. As we can see. 100. Good He's a well-established, a well-established gentleman of the game. He doesn't get phased too easy. 100. Well, you don't achieve what you achieved in the career in life. If you do, like look at like Roy's been doing it all his life. He doesn't care what yard people scores. He just cares about Roy, and it's done him well for all his career. 58. Good solid 58 there. One hundred and forty. That's great, one hundred and forty. So it looks like game set limit now. It's getting the scores. It won't take long now for this to settle in. Oh come on, right, fill it up. One hundred and twenty-one. Oh. 
just a deflection there in the flight, just took it in the one bed. Still behind this leg, but. One hundred. It's, it's quite clear that James has settled now, and he's starting to put it up to Roy. Oh, he's well settled. So like seventy-six after twelve darts. It's a good dart. Eighty-one. Roy will be disappointed with eighty-one there. The way, yeah. the way that first dart went, it was ideal to follow. He'd be yeah, disappointed. Yeah, understaking. So fifty-six. Oh, that's a that, loose one. That was a bit of a rush job there. Loose, loose dart. Will he get thirty-six? Will he be back? Four wants hundred and seven. Right, wait, here, get this 107. So. He's on for it. Ooh, 87. Thrower wants 40. Forty shot. John, we're back level two each. We are. Just shows you, Damien. Yep. How quick the James pendulum has. can swing. We said this yesterday. So, Jamie, you got the brick back. 177. Oh, brilliant darts. It's well, in the, well in this now. Could the nine darter be on? We're very close to nine darter yesterday from Gary Elliott. We certainly were. We got seven. Seven 45. And I did call it an honorary name because he had the 177 first and then he finished in 10, so... Yeah. 96. It's a great effort, but... Oh, wow. But, I mean, there's some spectacular legs yesterday. Spectacular. Yeah, well, hand the list has been Lisa Ashton. Like, some legs she threw yesterday was just... 41. It was, it was special to watch Lisa Ashton yesterday. She will absolutely fancy her chances today too, Damien, in the ladies' event. Although it'll be no pushover with the, the calibre of thrower that's here. Oh, definitely not, no, but just have a look at the average there. James has increased. James has increased a lot there. Significantly over the last two legs. Whereas unfortunately, one, Roy has just have taken a bit of a dip. Thrower wants 170. I think that 119 checkout really, oh, it really did. set the bar for James. He, you know, he settled in. And Six day. It was just the way he done it too, just bang, 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 no messing about. He's now throwing with more confidence. Yep. There always seems to be a pivotal moment in games like this or in a shorter format, as you know, Damien, and that seemed to be a pivotal moment in this one. 60. Thrower wants 110. So, uh, six starts out of 110. So, 90, so Proswell's probably 18. Oh, that's unlucky. So, 78. Stick to the travel 18s, I'd say. 33. 33 scored. So... The rise level, like he's very close to a few 180s before. He's going to need at least a two travel visit here. Ooh. I mean, he got two travels, just the wrong one. Just the wrong Thrower one. wants 77. But it leaves him the big fish anyway. So, tops to win the lead for first time. 57. Unlucky. Thrower wants 170. So, Roy Bailey has the big fish here. If anyone can do it, it could be Roy. Not this time, but. 41. Only a 41 there. Thrower wants 20. We give right a big build up and he just. Two tens here. There. <laughs> 20 shot. And he takes the lead for the first time in the game. That's a really, That's really good dart. That's three Last dart. Well, he has. Two blockers in place. And three legs on the spin now for James. So basically Ryan has to win the next two. Six day. Forty five. So not spectacular start to this game, this leg. No, but this is a tension leg. This, is, this is tension. Ninety six. Roy's not letting us go easy, but. 100. James comes back there, a good solid ton. We've managed to settle the crowd there, Damien. Yes, the husband's not quieter, hasn't it? They, uh, 
they were quite rambunctious there, but that, that leaves us in a better position. 141. Oh, unlucky. That was a great. That was a good effort there from Ray. And back goes James again. 99. Ray just takes his time and just doesn't let anyone rush him, doesn't he? Not. Well, this is his game, you know. This is his game. 100. You Lovely. know, and he's coming 141 ton. Ton 99 for James. He's going to need another travel here to stick with Roy, you know. Yep. I mean, 60. You're, you're hitting back to back tons and then you have wants to 104. Hit another ton just to stick with Roy, you know. That's pretty big stuff that they're asking you to do. He wants to get a lever right here. There's 44 so, left. So Where does he go? Does he go 18 4? He does. And tops. Ooh. 64. He'll be back. I had money on you there, right? I thought you'd do it. One hundred. Slight pressure. The wants out. forty. Great visit there. Great visit. Yep. Just put that little bit of pressure on Roy. Just letting you know I'm still here. Yep. You better take that side, Russ. And he knows he's capable of doing it. That's yep. the thing, because he's already taking a one nineteen out. Forty oh, shot. Bailey, hello. That doesn't matter, right? Last and final leg. Down there. James has. We've had a few final leg shootouts, and the trend is continuing on today. Good to see Nal Heaney's online watching us. Hello, Nal. Oh, Nal, how are you going, Nal? And enjoying your Sunday with 81. the Eighty-one, no doubt. It's great to see him yesterday up here. Played well too. He was the only man I seen yesterday doing a version of a zombie when he was leaving. <laughs> of course, Nal, great friend of ours here at McAvoy Darts. Uh, some, some character. Forty-one. Right? Some character now. Now, eighty-one versus forty-one. Mm. Can James back up his eighty-one with another travel visit? He can. Oh, 134. He can. And he really does get in there. Very impressed with James. They, they got from 2 0 down, one day and three legs, and it's been with a, a great 119 checkout. 68. Throwing very well this game. 60. And he backs out the 134 with a good solid 60. So, the average is there, as you can see, not much in them. <laughs> right, he's another one of them. 100. Excellent. Excellent visit. Just when he needed a visit. Well done, Roy. Keeps him alive in the leg. 81. Oh, oh a start, Damon. He needed that one, he needed that. What a last start. So brings him in the one four five. Possible checkout. Just keeps that wee bit of daylight between himself and Roy. I'm gonna see what Roy can do here. That was a great lay. Six day. Disappointed with that. Thor wants hundred and forty five. So six darts here at one four five. Oh, that's a great dart. Can you go for it. Well, you tried. She gotta go for it, that's the thing. Ninety six. Quickest way out, as I always say. Yep. Quickest way out. Look at that, the averages are dead level. Six day. Thrower wants 49. 49 to win the next round. Can he get it? That's a good start. Ooh. 29. Oh. First one was a bit of a flyer, but he's got, he's got to have another three at it. The only thing you do is pressurize, right? That's all he can do. That's a good start. 84. Just 84. Thrower wants 20. He's an 88. If he returns, but he's got three darts here, two tens to take this. 20 shot. There and he is. only needs the one. And James is delighted that. Roy, Roy can't be ashamed with how he played there. He played very well. Played very well then. First two legs particularly, he was brilliant. But as you said... So like 119 like changed like the game. Game like I changed the moments, and the 119 just changed it. Yeah, the, 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 that's really how darts is. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a thing of moments, and you can get, you can have those moments and fleeting glimpses. And to be fair, Damien, you you know you have to give credit where it's due to James and Co. Yes, he came back well there, like when Tuna learned. Well, he wasn't. He probably said himself he wasn't throwing particularly well, but that 119. 
just kind of changed momentum, changed the whole game, mm-hmm. and it just pushed him on. Yeah, because very much you, so. You just see the confidence in the way he just, the arm was just loose and he was just letting him go. It's a good win for, for James to start his day, ease him into the competition. Roy, it'll be an early bath for him. I'm not sure if he'll mind that much overall. But what a great game to start off the stream. Folks, we're going to take a real quick break here and we'll be back when we get the next game up. Any results we get from the first round, we will let you know, of course. Uh, We'll be back online soon. Please do stick with us and thanks for watching.
And folks, we're back here for our next game. Darnell McCrory from Northern Iron against Leighton semi finalist from yesterday. Yeah, ready Mark to go. Pirelli. Here we go. Dave Burley's on lane. Watching intently. Test and test. Test and test. Yep. Mark had a great game in the semi final against Darren Johnson yesterday. Yeah, the event and Darren, the event and winner, of course. Yeah. That's a very interesting dark shirt there, isn't it? It is Outside. indeed. The Shepherd. Carlos Mark is in his usual black long sleeve top. Darn McCurry has Darnell. Darnell wins the ball up there, so he goes first. It's going to be an interesting game because, like Darnell, we, we, we both know Darnell, very, very capable thrower on his day. There's a young Liam Bradley online watching at home. Oh. 134. You know him, Damien. I've heard of him. You want him a good way now. How you going, our fella? 180. That's a superb start there for Mark. Well, that's that's how you want to start a game, yeah. isn't it? Just carrying on from yesterday. A very very tight game against Darren Johnson yesterday. Ninety-three. That's a good answer, but the, th the thing is, Damien, that certainly from my perspective, I actually think Mark Bradley be one of the favourites here today, just on the back of yesterday's performance, just on that alone. He was very. I think it was just maybe the double. Well, just he never got the, he never got really a, a chance. Mm. Like, Darren Johnson, again, any side slip up that Eighty. Mark made yesterday, Darren was just all over it. The game, Dar Darren's here today too, you know. Yeah, but just simply yes, he Darren's saying he he, he he throws very well on the Saturday. He doesn't do as well on the Sunday, and that's him saying that. So, but, but like he didn't put of any great expectations yesterday. Look what happened today. Anything can happen. Well, capable of doubling up. 122. That's good darts. Didn't, so. didn't let that 180 phase him at all. 81. Very, very tight leg, this first one. Game dart. Wow. Well, 14 darts. You take that. Michaela Elder. Come on, Big D. Big fan of Darnell. That's what he did to point that leg. 60. I wonder, is she one of the sheep of his flock? <coughs> Very good, Michael. Thank you. My best. He is known as the shepherd after all. Yes. 57. Not as good as your leg, yes, he is the Monaghan Street level meringues, but very impressive, Michael. The Monaghan Street meringues. <laughs> That, that one could go down in history. 140. Oh, I think it already has. <laughs> I was pulled about that early doors now yesterday. Well, we did get a good view of it on the stage whenever uh, Paddy Kearney was wearing it. So did, like I said, it was 45. Like, it must have been like thrown into the sun watching <laughs> watching their opponent. Well, it didn't put Gary Elliott off, that's for 125. sure. 125. Mark's in here, he's making a big step in this lake. Annie Burns updating there with the, the football scores online for Plady and Annie. Keep everybody updated on the football scores too so they don't have to nip off and watch something else. 41. Well, the only update I have so far on the phone is Manchester United women are beating Brighton women 3-0. So hopefully, I, re hopefully seven. I repeat the day in the big one at 2 o'clock. Remember that the mighty Manchester Reds are playing Newcastle. Game one two forty five. Well, you'd be interested in yourself, Miho. Oh no, yeah, not much. That's seventy nine here for Mark. <laughs> Let's see. Game Look darts. That. That's brilliant. Clinical finishing from Mark Riley. Fifteen dart leg. So a fourteen darter and a fifteen darter. And we're only in the first round. Well, it's a carbon copy, Damien, of yesterday. Oh yes, well, yes, he was from one hundred and twenty three. Way through from the very start. Yes, he. I would suggest this get this better standard than this, this game anyway. Yeah, some some incredible legs and games, not just legs, but some incredible games for the duration of the event yesterday. Like the final, the men's final between Darren and Nick Kenny was, was brilliant. That's fantastic. Like the, the two of them just forty six to try and do better. Like 
one has a big score, the other one follows up and has a bigger score. I mean, it was just great to watch that game yesterday. Yeah. 64. Mark will not, not be happy with that. Know, like the first start in the seven, then just right in the middle of the travel too. There's plenty you know, ring either side, yeah. A reasonable follow. Then then just stays across to get a better angle. Sixty. And only gets a sixty. Moved to teams there. Seventy-seven. Well, it worked to a certain extent. Eighty-one. Not too from Darnell. Just steady flowing from Darnell. He knows, yeah. knows what's required here. Mark, like, Mark is eighty-three. Just, Mark just throws her just like him. Lacks a daisy to approach with and it just seems to be working for him. He's just so relaxed with him when he's so Adrian McElvan is back on. Hello Adrian, how are you? Good to have you back on. 45. And only 45 from down there. So more great opportunity here to get in there and get a easy two daughter if he can. No. 57. Instead he's there for Shanghai 20s when he comes back. If he comes back, because Darnell can take this out, one four six. Well, he can't take it out now. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't go for 719 now. 719's double 16. 42. Mm, that's the way I would go. Counting's changed, Damien. You know, everybody has their own unique way of doing yeah. things now. and They learn combinations, they memorise the combinations. 45. Just remember, remember, in their psyche now. Yeah, well, the first time I actually went for 146, I could give an offer. Why not go for 20s? And then it was a like 2 719 DJ 32. Look at this. This could be on. Oh. 96. It's an effort there, that isn't effort it? That is an effort and a half. So for the ball. To the 2 1 lead. You'll not be happy with that. 26. It was a bit of a loose one. It's the fanciest 26 I ever did see. It's good work. Game Dart on a good second Dart. Maya McCrory online watching Darnell be happy with that. She says, let's go big bro. 85. I'm glad to have you watch him on McAvoy's Dart streaming here. And for those who are watching, don't be afraid to interact. Tell us who your picks are for today, who you think is going to win the ladies event, the men's event. I'm sure Damien and myself will come up with our predictions. 81. Pretty, pretty sharpish again today. Oh, I can give you my predictions today if you want. Oh, damn. I'm going to be very controversial in the women's one. Very controversial? Yes. I'm going to go for Lisa Ashton. <laughs> well, now you've, Sixty. You've changed tack from yesterday. Have, well, after that performance, Jesse, I, there's, I had to. I had to change tack because that performance from Lisa was just incredible. 100. I, I, may, I may change approach today myself and the ladies. And uh, I think... Aileen de Graaf may have a chance today. 78. Well, you were correct in prediction, Jesse, so, well, well, I'm not going to change. I'm going to go Lisa Ashton. As for the main, um, hard one to call. 100. Like you, you Darren Johnson, yes, a great performance. Neil Duff's here. Nick Kenny was brilliant. Nick Kenny was brilliant. Um, could be anyone. Um, Anthony Allen had a 100. Good had a great, had a great um, run yesterday too, so he could be up there as well. Absolutely, he's in very good form at the moment. Yeah. But um, of course, Gavin Carlin, don't Gavin forget. One forty. Yeah, the big man has helped from very, very. Although it was a four and a four nil scoring, it's not kind of semi final. It was harsh on him. It was very harsh because he threw some great darts in the semi final. It was a harsh scoreline. Yep. On a brilliant performance. Yep. Of course, um, Darren Clifford's here today too. Darren, yep, Darren was here yesterday and a great, great run to the board final. Andrew Mitchell just beat in the board final himself. There's a lot of contenders here 60. today. 60. Don't forget Alan McKnight. McKnight, Chris Gilliland. Yep. Um, there's a whole host of local throwers. So and then, of course, there's some of our Scottish compatriots. 84. You all done great turns in the county last night, I heard. Well, there's one or two karaoke songs last night, <laughs> I, can, I can confirm. So, two tens here for now, they're going 3 1 in the lead. Game dart. Great last dart. 
So 3 1 now, Darnell wins. Six day. So just think about it. I am prediction for the men's. I think I'll go for uh, one hundred. Nick Kenny. Nick Kenny, very good. Either Magalvani, he's went for Veenstra. Richard Veenstra. No. Can do. You know, it's not a bad show. One forty. So we just think of the performance of Nick Kenny. Yes, he had a great run to the final. Great performance in the semi final against Gavin. 45. Great performance in the final. Just very, very lucky against Big Darren. But I think we'll go for Nick Kenny. Forty-three. Darren just kind of snatching there a wee bit. Not nice, Doug. Sixty. I'm not sure, of course, whether or not uh, Colin McGarry, the Chiefs here today, he was here yesterday. I'm not sure if he's here today. Well, it didn't, didn't see but him if then. he if he is, he's certainly in with a shout. Yeah, well, had a great game on the stage there like yesterday as well. So, one hundred. Didn't see Gary Elliott here either. Local legend Martin Carlin's about. He's always in the shop. Sixty. No, I'm going to stick with Nick Kenny. It's a brave call. Mark Bradley's under the cosh here. And if Darnell can keep fighting those switched trebles, which One, he does. One, three, four. Mark oh. Bradley, after such a fantastic run yesterday. Is stirring down the barrel of an early 105. exit. Would be an early bar for him. Indeed. Not 105 doesn't put the pressure on this 24. So game there dark. it is. That's brilliant. Great performance from Darnell. Mark Barelli, unfortunately, you got to hit the showers. Darnell McCoy is going to be proud of that one. What a performance! Fantastic darts. Great crowd watching it too. Thanks to Dave Heasley there for calling it. Big Dave of Indigo fame, sponsor of the NIDO. So fair play to Dave for calling that one. Darnell's bound to be happy with that performance, Damien. Overall, oh, very happy. It was, it was a great, really yeah, strong. Seven, seven, <laughs> seven, nine point two three yards. Isn't a sneeze that? No, absolutely not. You know, both both players very very little in the difference, but Darnell was absolutely clinical in his finishing. When he got a chance, he took it. He moves on to the next round, marching towards Niam on the match play a trophy. Uh, interestingly, Damien, interestingly, uh, I see Carter Ganey putting his darts on the table. I think Carter may have had an early bath himself. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out for everyone. Of course, as soon as the results come to us, we'll let you know what's happening around the grounds, as they say. Yep. But what a performance that was from Darnell McCrory.
and welcome back folks for our next game up on the stage Jared Curley against Jeff Flood Jeff Flood another legend of the local dirt scene been around for years what? <laughs> yes just waiting for that and we're watching the light bulb indeed so there is our participants having a little practice just a wee walk around the floor there um, Neil Watt is actually facing off against um, Neil Duff or Neil, Neil Duff I mean, see you've got me Watt in the brain <laughs> Neil Duff Neil Duff is against um, Gareth Chambers in the next round ooh that's an exhibition that would be okay, tasty Jared starts for the ball that's an exhibition yes. yes. Um can say that uh, Laura Turner has defeated Mary favourite Anna Madigan in her game 25 G Tommy Joe Grafton was beaten as well so by her third partner Sophie Inside. McKinley Jared has dodged and Martin Corbin is currently playing in his game down on the floor. So we'll see how he gets thrown later on. So as Jared Curry starts off, turns the ball up and just 28. Eases himself in this game. And let's see what Jeff has. Very high one there. Straight down. Straight down he went. And only a 60. Hmm. Interesting. Test where to get it. That's a good second one. 84. That's a point in third one. Yeah, he's, he's going down early, isn't he? Oh, yeah, the first start into a 20 and then straight down. Yeah. If it's if it's not yeah, in, in not any sort of a region of that travel, he's moving. 41. See that travel, that uh, 20 bed has taken a bit of a bother so far. Certainly has. Definitely mm. taking the ball there now. <laughs> That's solid there from Jeff. You have to get it early. Eighty-two. That's a good find of the treble there for Jeff. In the sees last start. Just sees himself in the lead there. One hundred. Very good, good solid turn there. Just noticed there, Jeff Purdy fights for translucent. Forty-seven. Jared require one hundred fifty-two. Translucent. Who's that? Jared. Jared's fights. Yes, oh, yeah. so they are. Yes, indeed. I learned that word in work. 60. Well, Jeff, you require 130. It's a wonderful word. It is. And they're a wonderful flight. They are, yeah. I've never seen that before. 32. Jared, require 92. Of course, Andy here, who uh, sponsors the event. Andy does be behind us with his dark supplies. He's got everything you need. There's plenty of translucent flights there. Maybe be translucent darts. Well, what do we have for? 52. Jeffrey Parr, 100. Last he made a couple of purchases on his house yesterday. Oh. Don't tell the wife, Damien. Well, she already knows. She's <laughs> trying to find her. She's trying to find her. going through my pockets. <laughs> As she usually does for any spare change for ice cream for her children. Well done, Josh Rock. Just beating Johnny Clayton in the last leg to Cider. Gibraltar. He's playing some stuff at the minute. Absolutely. Flying. Flying at the minute. Well, I think he was here last year. Him down on the first leg. And there's Jeff Watt putting his name on the board. One up. Second Jeff is definitely Jeff here. Game on. And he gets the leg. He gets the throw. He takes that first leg. Can he back it up now this one? That's a great start anyway for him. 180. And we have our... A ton 80 there from Jeff, that's the way to start, that's the second nice, one we've had today. A nice gentle 180 call there, from our caller, I like that. 140. And a good answer there from Jared. You kind of have to answer like that, don't you? Mm. 85. Well, you had four of them, Jeff. I was, that went down as I was saying, cut it B, cut it B. You were hopeful. I was. 
84. Yeah, no, we're still playing him. He got a nine dollar yet. 45. 137. Oh, good. Dark surgery, 140 off the game. See Steve Ritchie there. From 134. Dark surgery, 140. Same there, Steve Ritchie there ahead of us. Um, I wonder how he got on. Steve's, uh, Steve's another man who'll be looking for a pack of sponges quite early, I would imagine. Yep. Based, based on his uh, his demeanour there. Although you never know Stevie, do you? 45. Yeah. Jeffrey Bar 57. He's a new sign for Boyd's next season. He's a, he's a big fan of Boyd's. And why not? Game shot in the second leg. Look at that, Jeff. Oh. What? 2 0 up. Super quick time. Mom. He's been on his whole career. Nothing spectacular, just no, efficient. Just in. Total efficiency. In. Get at your double and take it out. No mess about that. 100. Jared with a solid start to this leg. Well, the way Jeff's throwing it might be enough. Well, maybe he is now. 21. Oh, that's unfortunate, Jeff. No luck. One hundred and forty. Great dart. Oh, brilliant dart, Jared Curley. It's not frightening the stage now. One hundred. Oh, good answer there from Jeff. Just a Jack Nugs there in his right now that he's still there. He's not going to be run away with this leg. Fifty-seven. Ninety-nine. So an there from Jeff. Not enough lad in the stage. We're seventy-seven ahead with these, but we're we've well ahead now. Eighty-five. We only need eighty-five after a good first start. Jeff's in again. One. Well, not a solid tone. So require one hundred nineteen. Seeing this one hundred nineteen take now earlier on. It'll happen again, so 19 first start, so travel 20 for tops. Only lucky. But a great setup there. Yeah, Katie did that up really well, didn't he? It was a great setup. See Shane Rafferty over there, but he's a, a hoodie on him. He's looking rather somber. 97. I'm not sure if today's gone Shane's way. No, it doesn't look like the way he's behaving. And Ray Campbell there with him. Rich, unfortunately, we don't have a live 30. update ourselves, so we can't guide you to any live update pages for what's happening in the other games. No, but we'll do the best we can off this game. We'll go for a bit of a walk with and see who's in and who's not. 59. Damien's our registered stato. We'll yeah. find out first. Yeah, that wouldn't go that far. Yeah. Yeah. Two fives. Two fives. Game shot on the third. Just like that. Confident dirt dirt. So that brings a little bit of the deficit anyway. But Jeff has this leg now to put that two leg advantage, have the bit of a buffer. And he's Jeff's doing well here. He's doing well now. 140. Yes, start. Press with Jeff so far, he's just no mess, no fuss, no mess, and just goes in and does the job. And 42. Jeff's got to keep the punch and that low score there. And it's not a good start for him. That's a sec good second one. 121. And a very good third one as well. Yeah, that's the way to start the leg, yeah, isn't he's it? He's all over that one. That's 42 there from third. 93. Great switch there in 718. And a good switch down there in 719 for Jeff. 96. So, 96 leaves 144. After nine, the third way back. He tries to slot downstairs. Ninety-three. Jeffrey Power, one hundred and forty-four. Another great switch to the family team there for Jared. But he, he's not entirely comfortable up there, Jared, because you can see he's dancing around the board. When you start dancing around the board so regularly, you know that you're not comfortable with your own yeah. throw. 
41. Maybe he has a tightness in the elbow or something, or a wrist. Just doesn't seem happy. He's back down for 19s now. You see, just at the back of the throwers there. They're in with Stanley and Laura Turner. 103. Yeah. Up front to watch the action. Yep. Thick as thieves after winning their first round games. So, stand back, just take a check. 79. Here, hit the double fade there. Actually. Yeah, it was a bit of a flyer, wasn't it? It is. But again, he has time. It's the 30, time. so just. Jeff Rupert, 24. Three darts now, two at double 12. It's a bit of a blocker, maybe. It is. Another one. Well. If he understacks that. He ain't down. I mean, he does. Oh, That's an incredible check. How did he get that in? No, there were two great markers, but the, the lay of the dart didn't really tell the story of that. But well, from uh, here, it looks as if the whole bed was covered, but. It was incredible. Jeff found the way. So he moves in within one of the game. 24. Forty-three. Oh, Jeff's not happy there. You can hear him. And the body language there, of Jared Curley, just suggests that he's just twenty-nine. He's not happy up on that stage at all. Yeah, he, he definitely hasn't settled in the same way that Jeff has. Jeff upstairs here. Eighty-three. Solid. Hopefully this will settle him down a bit. He's a lovely dog. 140. Very like Peter Wright's originals. Yeah. Those dogs are really nice tone to them. Look at this. 134. Jeff Watt wants out of here in double quick time. He, does. he, he doesn't want to hang about. And why would he on this? You know. He wants to go and watch the football. 82. He starts at 2 o'clock. He may well do. Damien, if you don't mind me saying, you seem a bit tense about the football. What is it about the football today that has you so One tense? One hundred. Uh, is it just any time that famous Manchester team yes. play that you... Yes, I uh, just I get so wound up. Also, the last time I was commentating here for Northern Ireland Open, Man United was playing Newcastle, and 40. Newcastle beat them 1-0, so that is just... Jeff Bar, 141. ...on the mind. Yeah. I'm, I'm edgy. You can understand. Um, you see, Meiji. You see, edgy. Well, people at home, I'm sure, think you're edgy too. Ian <laughs> McIlvana will send his best regards to you, no doubt. No, I think Ian McIlvana has got other things to spend at the minute. Make the dart. Send, send a bit of love, Damien's way, folks. Need to cuddle today. I just need. Very worried about this Manchester need team. Manchester United will in the half time four the up, and then I'll calm down. You still couldn't trust them. Twenty. <laughs> Michael, you're not making things, you're not making things one, two, easy six, for me. Now, 126 for Jared Curley here. This is to stay alive with Jeff Watt sitting on 24. Treble 19 for the ball. Ooh, one lucky. Disappointment reigns. And Jeff's already taken out 24 in the last leg. Yep. With a, a third dart, superb understack dart. He's put one slightly wide. He's slightly under. Reimagined over the double six. 21. Require 68. Maybe not. 21. be a miscount there, that was, was there? That was a bit of a... A mishap, perhaps. That's not good. But he's opened the door here. He's opened the door, Jared Kane. just walked through it. 36. So, Jeff. Jeff requires Jeff 3. Hey, Jeff. You know what you do? You bet you've been here many a time before. That's a good dart there, So Best finishing darts. Yep. One in, one, one. out. Jared requires 32. So, Jared, you're not getting any more chances than this. No. So, two names then. Is there or thereabouts? Oh, 23. Dear. Bit of a nervy dart there. Two. So, one in, one out. And two out. It's a good lie, though. It's a good lie. No score. Jack Finishing Watt, fever here for Jeff Watt. Now, nine on the board for Jared. Curly. There's one, two fours. Two twos. Two twos. 
five. Still two twos. We're, we're trying two. to talk these in for the lads. They're struggling in this leg to get over the line. No score. Oh, Jeff. Jeff. What? Jaguar four. How uh, close can you get? Uh, double ones eluding you. Uh, well, like every dark player has had their toes on double one at one stage, you know. Jared's had his best to fight that. He's moving. Two. So and he's on it. We have so a mad house two. shootout. No score. And so and that is full on mad housery right there. Unfortunately, Bring this back this some memory memories. This is two yeah, and it's destroying what would have been and a really score. decent average here. Jeff for two. for Jeff, I know that much. No score. <laughs> it's a double a double one shootout, and both players are talking to each other. They can see that it's. Uh, Ah, there, we there we go. There we go. Now, could that be a tide turner in this Six game? Six leg, Jeff starts. Well, could that no. allow Jared Curley to think, well, you know what, if he's going to struggle, it might sit in his head. Even if it sits there for nine darts, 12 darts. 96. Well, the place was Jeff was finishing so well. Correct. As you said, the average is going to be laying down now for what it could have been. As you just see there. 69.57, 61.99 for Jared. Mm. Um, that would be well up. Jeff especially would be probably here near 80. If it wasn't for that double trouble he's had in the last day. Mm, they're having a they're having a bit of discussion here. They're not sure exactly what's going on. I think Jeff has a touch here. I think I think Jared Curley's getting confused to who won the bullseye. Eh? Yeah. They spent that long in double one there, Damien. I think both men have lost their own of this. Ninety-five. A little bit of confusion has reigned. But is that a tactic? Is Jared Curley playing the game here? Is he trying to play Jeff Watt? Jeff Watt's been about long enough to know not to be played, but he won. He knows all the tricks like but um, it can happen. I don't think it's that kind of game, to be honest with you. I just think it was just genuine confusion there. It's not surprising 50. that there's a bit of confusion, right? Yeah, like they spent a bit for two weeks in double one, but so. Yes. Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> 125. So some of put the Halloween decorations up there this week. Halloween decorations. Yeah. What have we become? 100. Yeah, isn't it? Well, Jeff Watt's going to put in a power score here, and he'll want to bring the Halloween horror show to an end. Look at this. As I've told him. 121. Oh. Fair pair, you mystic me, Hull. You did call that one. We'll take it. We'll take it. Jared switching downstairs again. Very quick to switch. Jared Curley. Very, 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 very consistent. Then the 12 18 has been going from him. But you should think of starting on them then, maybe. Yeah. Might help him along a little. 58. Well, Jared Jared Jeff Power 155. Nice just evaded Jeff there and leave himself in 24. Let's see this. Does he start up or down? He starts up. He stays up. With good reason. 99. Well, Jeff Power 16. 6 0. Oh, 2 darts. There's one. So, to win the game. Right. Bit of a flyer there. Game. There it is. And the match. So, from and all, the double, all the double trouble from the previous leg and. Yeah, you can see there, like with, with the amount of darts that were lost thrown in that double one, Jeff's average went back down to about 71 there. But but in reality, he was probably averaging around 80. He was playing very very well throughout. Um, two guys get into a, a bit of back and forth on the double one battle there, but ultimately, Jeff Watt walks away a winner. Jared Curley, well, missed chances and all that, Damien. Did he, what he, he could do. He had his chances, and when he took one with the double, he should never have had the chance in that double one anyway, because Jeff had just messing about there, for don't know what was going in his head. Well, you can see. But, but, he, but, he got, but Jeff got there at the end. You can see in the score, nine tons to four. I mean, the, the, the consistency was with Jeff's game more so than Jared's. Oh, but very, very, apart from that the double one trouble he's had, I'm very, very impressed with Jeff. Yeah, good performance. He's, he's got the big scores at the right time. His finishing, apart from that, was superb. As you say, like, you're probably talking an average of 80 there if it hadn't been for him. Very much so. 
just having a look around the room there. You see Mark Graham, Laura Turner, Paula Jacqueline. Right. A few people happy to be on the telly there. They're all looking at themselves now and wondering how did that happen. Yep. You're live on McAvoy's Dart Streaming, folks. You sure are. But it's a great, a great buzz here today and it's a great crowd. And this is our, our staging area. Of course, there's the floor area right behind, which has got... 32 boards worth of throwers ongoing. Yep, the ladies and the youth are down the other side, far in. Fantastic. Just as well, around there earlier on. Clark Fergus Jr. Dart League are all down there, purdy wearing their shirts. Oh, brilliant. Well, there's a lot of uh, a lot of Dart Leagues represented here, local and further afield. You've seen the, the Teddy Bears team is very much well represented over the last two days. Now what a crowd of characters they are. You've seen a lot of Teddy Bears. Uh, also the Muppets have seen yesterday. Yes, indeed. There was a few Muppets here all night. There was a few Muppets left there last night. They, they were out to enjoy themselves. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure they did. I took your breath away, Damien. They did. You're welcome to it. Folks, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with you really soon. Thank you so much for sticking with us here at McAvoy Darts. We're going to have another cracker on in just a few minutes. Thanks so much.
and wel welcome back, folks, for us, our first ladies game of the day. Sir Robert from England against Aleta. Right, it starts over. It's Aleta to throw for the bull first. Aleta Wajar from Netherlands. And we have the pup call for us. Aren't done this up there? Just a quick recap now. In a 25. Walk down the floor. Martin Carvel is through. Darren Clifford's gone through. Bullseye. George McGivern was defeated 4 0 in the battle of the last of summer with Andy Martin. First leg, it's Sarah to throw first. Chris Gillen was a loser in the first Game leg. on. In the women's competition, ongoing. Paula Jacklin is through. Um, Kiri O'Neill from Northern Ireland was beaten um, was beat by Ross Baldmer. Natalie Gibber was a 4 1 victor against Grace Crane. And 60. The new Northern Ireland Open champion, Darren Johnson, he's still in with a pass, so he's still on for the double. Yes, and our caller here of this game, Anthony Dundas, he's through the semi-final of his board. So there's a, a few updates for you as we're getting them. Like we said, we'll keep his posted throughout as much as humanly possible. And if we're talking about local players from Murray itself... Um, 60! Willie Grafton's through the semi-final board. And Thomas McCartney has uh, unfortunately McCartney hit the shards early. Smaller. Martin Carver is through. 41. Remy O'Brien, he's through the same thing on his board, so local representation doing well also. But in this game, good solid start from the, both these pairs. Sir Roberts, of course, well known in Darton circles. 60. Very steady and solid competitor. Letta over, of course, with uh, Aileen de Graff, she's been uh, touring 44. With her for the WDF events. Doing quite well, too. Doing quite well. Just in the back end. 100. That's good dart from Sarah. One hundred. Great answer from the letter. It's a super answer from the letter. Forty-nine. Her arms just went down. Yeah, she, well, she tried. She tried to switch, and uh, you know, rightly so. But when you, when you pop into that three, all of a sudden, one hundred comes a challenge, and there's back-to-back -back tons from a ladder. Yeah, it brings her in. They're nice little one-five-six. We've seen that taken out yesterday by Chris Gilliland on stage. Could it be done again? Well, we've had a one nineteen already taken. Forty-one. Out. A letter you require 156. Plenty of Tom Plus checkouts around the boards too, so the quality's here today to do it. It's not going to be done on this occasion. No, unfortunately not. 43. Have the opportunity of Sarah, you require 131. Sarah. Yeah, so what way are going to get this, Sarah? Excuse for the tap, so... So, leaves 91, so possibly down the... S so, so the 17, 17th. Maybe. 57. Yeah. Leaves 74. A letter you require 113. So 19s, yep. For the ball. No, oh. no score. Oh, that's unlucky. Sarah, you require 74. Well, she won't, she won't have wanted that. No, definitely no, not. No doubt. So 20 for tops to take the first leg. 54. Oh, a letter, you require 113. So, let her don't do the same thing again. Oh. Yeah, an, ounce, an ounce more in that throat. 57. Sarah, you require 20. Throwing those three darts with a slight sense of frustration. It all comes down to finishing here. Sarah Roberts has opportunities. No oh, score. She hasn't taken them. I'll let you require 56. Nice so, so 16 for tops. Eight. For tops. Eight. 16. Ooh, just bent the wire there. Sarah, you require 20. That began the two phase. Game shot in the first leg. Sarah Roberts. Second go. leg, a letter to throw first. first Game leg. on. Bit of a settler there for Sarah. She'll be happy with that. Get the mark up on the board, yeah. Damien. Oh, 80. Just fell out there. That was in. Just fell out. 
Jackson was sort of battling that that's why he's been taking all day. Sorry, I hope this doesn't fall out. 81. No, it doesn't. Good solid visit again from Sarah. Both ladies throwing at a reasonable rhythm. Decent scores. 60. Solid darts thus far. But early in the game yet. I've seen so many games yesterday, Damien, that to be fair, one 60. particular moment within the game swung the entire match. Yeah, well, actually, we've seen that happen today. In the first game, uh, the Ray Bailey. Um, Right. Jimmy James, James 59. Harvey, that 119 check out from James just totally changed it. I was talking to Ray earlier on as well, and even he said that uh, that he was comfortable up until then. That 119 just changed the game. James got more into it. James is more 60. James got more confident, and he just there was no stopping James that game. 98. Good solid last dart there from Miata. Again, these are consistent solid darts from both throwers. Natalie Gilbert still there, Damien. Yes. Just four, going past us. Yeah, 4 1 winner against Chris Crane. The 81. Another legend of the local dart scene. Very, very impressed with the Elites or Aletta so far. 140. That's a brilliant visit there. Seems very like. Fluid in her action, just controlled, isn't it? It's just. Mm. It's an absolutely controlled and, and well rehearsed throw, isn't it? 45, yeah, Valetta, you require 64. So when you're hanging around waiting the graph, you're going to have a nice control. 48. So 38 leaves double 16, Winter returns. The only thing you're to do now is try and punish. 39. I'll let you require 16. There, so at least three doors at this. Game shot in the second leg. I'll let only needs the one. Third leg, Sena to throw first. Game on. So, yes, they had a streak in the games that were, didn't go to plan, like breaks of throws the whole way right through. This game is kind of bucking a trend a wee bit. 100. That's a good solid ton there for sure, but... A lot of games yesterday were just first four or five legs were just pure all breaks of throw. Just no one could seem to hold the throw at all. 60. This game so far. Just one each, two holds of throw. Two very controlled players here. Two very different styles of throw. 55. Too. Sarah seemed to be thrown from underneath her chin where Leda just thrown from A level. Well, it's working for. 100. Very, very impressive. For. <laughs> 31. Thirty one. Just open here for a letter to walk through. Sixty. Some good solid scores here. Just just doing what the hub to do. Let me just keep my nose ahead here. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid game. One each is very little. 81. Very little choosing between these three, these two players. I think a letter probably is in the head in the average so far. 83. But it is a little fits and starts, Damien, all the same, isn't it? It's, you know, well, it fits and starts. Sir seems to be throwing a kind of fits and starts. A bad score followed by a good score. 43. Let us see a wee bit more consistent so far. It's very straight, very direct in yeah. terms of how they're approaching. There is consistency. Yeah. 66. Particularly with Aletta, you can see her scoring every, every time. It's 60 plus, 60 plus, 60 plus. 57. I'll let you going. require 132. Just as consistent as that, Damien. Oh, wouldn't we? It's the dream, isn't it? It is indeed. 52. Say that you require 134. So that's 52 leaves 80. So 134 now for sure. So not going to get his time, but 
more teams should have said travel here could put a bit of a hole in it. And then shouldn't have went there. 58. A letter you require 80. So 76 to 80. It hasn't been much in this game at all between these three players. Oh, that's a poor one. It's just left the door open. 40. Say that you require 76. 76. 75 now. Half the ball go ball. Possible. She went for it. At least 58. 28. A letter you require 40. Game shot in the third leg. A letter buyer. Fourth leg. A letter to throw first. Game on. Forty-five. Eighty-one. Forty-one. Elena being 2 1 in front, Damien. It's all really now can she power on? Well, on her own throw. Not so far, unfortunately, for Elena. 55. Kind of stick in there. Like, he's 81 and 55 so far. It may take her some time, but she'll get there. 31. Sarah now. Uh, took her level of 60. Consistency creeping into her game now. And because of that, raising her level, Damien. Yeah, which I'll take because Aileen was just. Or 100. Was just head, uh, as she's doing now. The, all throughout this game so far, Aletta has had that consistency. She's scoring at the right times, isn't she? Exactly. That happened a lot yesterday, didn't it? Well, we did see it a lot yesterday. Scoring at the right times is all important. 81. And it's something that we absolutely saw yesterday. 44. So only a 44 there. And that was an opportunity for a letter just to power ahead, as you were saying. But here comes Sarah. Oh, she's in twice here. Better up. 180. Hey. Lovely. Great visit there from what a what a leave, by the way. Look at this though, coming right back at it. One hundred. Good answer. Say that you require forty-four. Sarah still has a hit. This. Good answer. Twelve. Double sixteen. Game shot in the fourth leg. Cena Roberts. That was a great way to kill the game there. Fifth leg. Cena to throw first. Game right. on. As we get closer, this gets better, Damien. That's kind of the way it's going. She was not happy there. You can see that. You can see the reaction there. She's 26. Not happy. Well, who would be happy with 26? <laughs> Especially not when you win a game like win the last leg the way she did. Still not finding consistency. Forty-five. It's become a, a battle here at the moment for Sarah against herself. Forty-three. Fight those doubts. Yeah. Fight that frustration. Tough, Damien. It's tough. Well, to 23. We've been up there. We've been there. Well, not in this level, but. No, but on a stage and with a bit of razzmatazz and lights behind you. 45. All, yes, all, all, all of the bit, above. Yes, it's all about handling the big moments, on Well. You have to handle those moments. You handled it a couple of times, like. Persian, especially in the Persian, you won that. 
125. Oh, yes, indeed. Didn't even have the other. 43. I'm just left for Davy Dorn. You had good old Davy, <laughs> another colleague of the commentary brethren. Yeah. 85. It was a good pack that night, but I didn't try count here. Not in boot to try and count here with Amy Hall, but Davy was. A breath of fresh air. He was on fire that day. 41. Yeah, right? Especially with his own personal insights of Jared. Yes, he had, a, he had a considerable amount of liquid confidence in it before he had. That's one way to describe that night. You need a considerable amount of that. Eleven. Liquid confidence in him. That was a good night now. Oh, that was a good dart there. Seventy-eight. Good seventy-eight there. Kind of drags himself in a wee bit. The consistency has just left. It seems we've left a lot a wee bit to see the other shoot. 94. That's a good dart. 92 when she returns. Yeah, Aletta was just finding the treble with a bit more regularity there in the early stages of the game. That seems to have seems dissipated a, somewhat. Yeah, 60. Sitting at a prior 92. 72. 68. Now let's say you require 131. Sure, sure. Oh, well, finish. 57. Say you require 24. Let's see how we get up. 12. A letter you Again. require 74. Chances, and she knows she, she can't be allowing the chances like this to go. A letter will jump on it. Game shot in the fifth leg. Like a letter that. buyer. So we called it, Damien. We said she'll jump on it. Just Sixth like leg. A letter to throw first. The game on. Of the game. Forty-one. That's a starts with a forty-one. Oh, sorry, gets straight in there. One hundred. That's a great answer. Great visit. She needs that. Sixty. And a solid six here from Adam. Let's see now if the circuit follow on from this. It's the 60 here, we're doing the world of good. 60! Well, that's what she gets. <laughs> she's got the going a wee bit. But she needs to win this one to stay into it. 45! Oh, slack last start, that's where we at. For those interested, Chelsea have gone 1-0 up against Aston Villa. Yeah, well I'm not. Oh, okay, Damien! <laughs> 60. Very excitable young chap beside me. No, it's just. Are hey, you updates in there? What's there? Uh, zero updates from old. 43. Team. That's all I need to Apart from the doors, of course. <laughs> 45. 45 there. Sir, needs to push on a wee bit here. I know she has a well ahead like but the dart like that should not be for much longer. One hundred. So sir, we need a big score here. Fifty eight. Fifty eight might be enough. Sadly here in Landry and Pope just in advance the next round. 41. Got very scrappy this day, hasn't it so far? The game over the last couple of legs has got a bit 
Did he? 41. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. maybe the pressure of the moment has, has got to Sarah more so than it's got to Aletta. She'll not be happy with how she's shown Damon. Because to put it very bluntly for those of you and for those watching, Sarah Roberts is a much better thrower than oh, far better thrower. But she than just what we've seen in some of these legs. Like 137 is nowhere near 59. out of range. She's more than yeah. capable of doing you require that, 85. On this occasion, it hasn't come through. So we see, so 717. 66. 25. 60. Say that you require 78. 78, so 18. For 20 for tops. One dot added. 38. That's desperately unlucky. I'll let you require Good 60. Good set play. That was unlucky. Good set up play. Now let's see what the letter's got. It's high. That's really high. So She's got a ball. Got a ball here. Oh, 35. That would have been the most unique Sita way I've seen it checked 40. out the way. That was unlucky. Another wire bender. As no. is that. Sarah, foothold here. Game shot Game. in the sixth leg. Sarah play. Roberts. No. Seventh and deciding leg. Sarah to throw first. This one is all in Game on. Here we go. Big deep breath from Sarah. Get rid of those jingle jangles. Get rid of the nerves. Doing another last leg shootout. Sixty. Solid start. Sixty. And another solid start from Aleta. Because as you see, they're coming back in this one. As you see, they're trying to be more straight away. Just caught the flight there. Twenty-six. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the, you, you're just not going to get away with 26s yeah. at this stage of this game. I just don't feel. One hundred. Like, I don't feel that you have the room to to be putting 26s on the board in the deciding leg. Especially when Eric comes in with a hundred. Sixty. Yeah, no, no, another sixty. Might be in, that might be enough either in this game. No well, it's, it's more consistent. And if, if you can maintain that consistency, thirty-four. And again, there's there's the let in from Aleta. Yeah, you know, she's yeah. went sixty ton and thirty-four. But Sarah has to take this opportunity. She has to find a travel here on her own throw. Forty-one. going down below when she's doing so well in the twenties. Yeah, she went down early, all right, Damien, didn't she? Forty-five. Again. Just that lack of consistency that was so apparent in the early stages of this game. Maybe as the pressure went on. 140! That's quite dark. She needed that one. What does Lara got? 27. Only a 27. Oh. Sir Robinson, pole position here to take this leg and the game. Fifty-nine. No, fifty-nine. Is, that's uh, that's going to be enough. Two hundred and twenty-two inch returns. But the is not letting it go away. Did you fill it up? One hundred and forty. Say that you require one hundred and twenty-two. Possible two darter issue returns. But so is this hundred twenty-two? So. Fifty-four. I'll let you require ninety-five. 95. And she's in the travel 19 for double 19. 57. Oh, unfortunately, she's done the hard one. Sarah, you require 68. So 68 for Sarah. So 8 or 16. She goes to 16 route for double 16. 36. Oh. I'll let her, you require 38. So, so go for it. She tried. First so start. She went first start. Game shot and the match. A letter buyer. And I think on the balance of play, it's, it's the right result. But Sarah put up a real fight in that last leg. Uh, the averages won't please them. 
No. There's no doubt it was. It became very scrappy. Um, but to be fair, scrappy games can go like that, team. And yeah. I, wa- I watched that game thinking, you know what? I've thrown a lot worse than that. <laughs> you know, both players had their moments, uh, but it, it did become a bit of a. It became a bit of a, a scrapping match, didn't it? It became a bit of a slugfest. Um, yeah, in the l- some, latter stages. Some great scores, but um, you were saying girls wouldn't be happy with the average of Hercule. Happy with the result. Not happy, happy with, with the result, not yeah. Happy, happy with the result, Aletta, probably not happy with the performance. Well, look, Aletta has to be thinking, thankfully, she got out of jail there. She got Roberts had chances, and, you know, she definitely had chances. She did have chances. And, you know, in a, in a normal circumstance, perhaps maybe not on the stage, perhaps maybe not on a live game, a live stream, perhaps she may have done, you know, more with it. There's Davy Glenn, the infamous Davy Glenn, up having a wee throw at the stage. Yep, so, so we're going to be taking a, a quick short break here, folks, and we'll be getting back with a, a live game pretty soon for our glorious leader up there. I'll give him a quick update. There's been a par cut at Elland Road. He just didn't put 50p in the meter, and the game's suspended, just so you know. So there you go. That's how Arsenal's getting on. Yep, so that's how this is.
So, welcome back, folks, and here we have we Davy Glenn, another one who's been there and done it all, representing Northern Ireland many a time, won every major going, including a Newry City Open against Marino Blom from Holland. Another aficionado of the long sleeve dart top. Just giving you an array of camera views there that we have here at Magavoy Darts. Mark is uh, somewhat of a subject matter expert when it comes to these events. What a hell of a job he's doing too. Well, Davy Glenn is capable of special things on the dartboard, Damien. We've seen that first hand. We sure have. Uh, Moreno Bloom, of course, over this weekend, looking more ranking points. Remember, silver event this weekend for WDF, so all important ranking points. And Barry Copeland needs to be calling, so he must be it. Unfortunately, yet our player Barry Copeland. Barry, in, in a Burnley shirt. Well, we all have a cross in the world. Well, so say, Moreno wearing a, a long sleeve shirt. It's well, it's been, that's been a theme today, hasn't it? Well, we've got Mark Morelli doing so well, yes, see, I'm unlucky today. Let's see if the long sleeve shirt can come out on top this time, right? Five. So just a few updates on the floor. Um, Darnell McCrory and Martin Carver are currently tied to each. Uh, Raymond O'Brien is through the board final where he's faced Neil Duff. Dave's beaten Outside. and just um, won a game there, 4-1 against we Travis Burr. I was say we like the tall, twice as tall as me. Has darts. So that's the from the floor. Lemon's uh, round progressing. Natalie Gilbert is currently teaming up against Aoife Dial. And Denise, Denise Cassie is currently warming up for her game. Don't know who she's playing yet, but we'll find out soon after this game's completed. 41. So a full half. In any hour day, that wouldn't have turned 80 for daily. 100. Oh, good solid Tom. Ninety-six. Oh, good solid ninety-seven there from Daly. Fifty-seven. Very very fast sacks and a very bad, very very fast start there. Daly just taking board delivered. Forty-two. Yeah, Moreno's got a very natural swing motion in his throw, hasn't he? Very gentle throw, Davy. Very deliberate, as you can see. Look at that. Working for him. One hundred and forty. Put them on a pin, Davy. Put them on a pin. Into the nineteens then for Moreno. 171 and fills and them fills up. That up Davy going That's back upstairs. Straight not travelled regularly. 86. 132 to throw. So pull for start probably. Yep. Unlucky. So 38. Down. He's a very rapid thrower. Four requires 96. He is quick, isn't he? Mark's going to have a cut out today as he goes <laughs> trying to follow him. Game shot. Oh wow. Davy Glenn not Marino hanging about. Darts. 17 yard leg. Look at this. Marino ain't hanging about either. This is rapid fire stuff. Six days. Flight going. Flight has gone for a run. 140. 140. Marino's not hanging about here, is he? There's Davy. No, these three players are pushing each other here, Dean, and this is a great watch. 140. This class is going to be in the day so far since we started. Great watch. 97. Marino's definitely got a, a rapid fire action, hasn't he? He moves around the board so quickly. Davy, of course, will not be off put by this. He's thrown players faster and slower. 58. Marino requires Marino 124. 
84. This is brilliant. Marino so swift in his actions. Hosmer 13 yards are coming. And there's the, the little slip from Davy. 22. Marino requires 40. First little sign of. Oh. oh, that's a bit of flyer there. Game shot. That wasn't. They're flying in at some pace, you know that. Third leg, Davy with Arch. Incredible pace. I saw in the blink when I was third two legs done. 100. Davy straight back in the lipstick. Moreno straight back in the lipstick. 81. Just another taller from the lane, the production lane of talented Dutch dirt players. <laughs> well, that's true. You know, and of course we have Richard Vince. 45. Over here Wonderful Dutch darts player. Of course, our World Championship semi final. Michael, Michael Van Gerwen, of course, who won the Northern Ireland Open previously. We all know he's pretty decent. He's, uh, I think he won the youth and the, and the men's on the same day that year, didn't he? He's, 100. Uh, an all time talent, there's no doubt. 60. Yeah, he's done it right for himself, hasn't he? Raymond Van Barneveld, of course, many moons ago. Yes, probably my favourite dark player ever. 45. Bit of a slipsy there for Davey. 96. Mar Marino's, uh, Marino's now sitting about 12 points ahead in the averages and he's been uh, rapidly growing 57. into this game. On each day, he's going to struggle to cope if he doesn't start turning on his power scoring again. Look at this, Marino. 99. Wow. Throw requires 154. 78. Throw requires 80. 60. Throw requires 76. Yeah, but you took out 96, let's see if you do a 76. So 16 tops. Oh, he's in the eights. 36, through that requires 20. Through an anger, uh, finger or frustration. Not sure which, but he wasn't happy either way. Game shot. As Marino takes it, he won the lead. Fourth leg, and it's Marino with darts. And the, the par really is with Marino at the moment. 85. Well, a good solid start there. And here comes David. Now he's right in the red. Fight will go again. 140. Red answer. <laughs> that's the David Gale we all, that we all know. That's 140. What that's what he's very fit to do. So is Moreno. He's back now at 85 up at 140. Davey's in again. 100. Good dark Davy Glenn. Rear 140. This is uh, some standard in this leg. Oh, 42. 136. Six starts to take this out. 96. Marino's counting superb, just leaving himself settled on tops, leg after leg here. Davey 140. Two requires 40. Huge reply. Game shot. Not what? enough though. Not enough. Fifth leg on a Stevie with darts. Another 13 dart leg from Marino Bloom here. Yet as he moves in, moves in one, will take in the game against the vastly experienced Davey Glenn. Davey just 134. That's a great start from Davy, but Marino was seen to have all the answers. 91. Just like that. 140. Davy's in this leg. 42. So the door's open now, Davy, for you to push ahead here. 140 head with these three. 100. A great answer there now. Davy really pushing himself on. Well, he has to do these starts. 140. 
you, know, you think you just. Four requires 127. Davis starting to stretch his legs there. You know, puts the pressure back on him to clean that up. Romero comes in with a 24. Let's see what, if you can put more pressure on him again here, Moreno. 58. Thor requires 103. Hey, he's a big fish anyway. If Davey doesn't, not able to take this out. But he is, now he's got a dart on it. Uh, 91. Thor requires 170. Big fish on. Hooks Still in. On. Oh. 145. Oh, Thor requires that 12. Would have been a great way to win the leg. Glorious. The game so game shot. Not the fifth leg. Davey doesn't let him back. Sixth leg, Marino to throw. Well done, Davy. Keeps himself well in this game. 140. What a start from Marino Brum again. If you're watching this along with us on YouTube. 42. You'll appreciate the quality that we've seen in this game from both players. He's, he's in a rush, Damien. He's in a rush out of here. He must have a flight to catch. Because 125. Davy Glenn must be catching some sort of flight with him. Yeah. So the, the two boys definitely weren't hanging out here. 57. That's okay. He's a 1-2-4 finish when he returns. Indeed he can do. He's another one I'd say. He gets it. Fainted. 125, 124 to the thrower. Stand up. 92. Brilliant counting again. Yeah. Dynamite in the counting, isn't he? Davey doing everything he can to stay alive here. 99. Thor requires 32. Nope. Davey just, it's not over till it's over in Davey's head. Marino, waste no time. Game shot, there and it's over now. And the match, Marino Blum. Waste was, no that, time. That was some stand at 93 average. Yeah, look, to be fair, David Glenn did very little wrong in that game, no. Damien. That was just savage. Us locals would call it savage darts. That was very impressive from Marino Blum. Yeah, he... he uh, David done, you said David done nothing wrong there. He may just have entered the conversation, Damien, because... A performance like that. 92 average won the... The Northern Ireland Open yesterday. 93 average. Could win it today. Performance like that. He might be far away. No, he's, he's put his name up there for people to recognise it. You know, there's no doubt. Yep. So the targets are so not yet. The Leeds Arsenal game has restarted. It has. The power so is back on at Ellen Road. So the 50 piece has been found. And that game is back on. That's where. Yep. Chelsea still win 1 0. Southampton win 1 0. We're not winning either. We being. Oh, the Manchester yeah. Reds. The mighty Manchester Reds. Still nil. Still nil nil. So. Hopefully well, that'll change soon. There we are, everyone. In, in positive for Manchester United. Fingers okay. crossed. You can see now, folks, we're going to take a short break. Uh, we'll be back really, really soon. Please do stick with us on YouTube. Yep. Talk to you later, folks. We'll see you very shortly.
everybody here we have one of the boys youth games We've got Johnny Stewart interestingly narrowly defeated 4-3 in the men's tournament today by Darren Johnson now still playing his trade in the youths of course against Alfie Bird Alfie interestingly little known fact but much known amongst his peers he's actually the grandson of the famous Joey Dunlap So, Alfie to the board with Johnny. Johnny, of course, is well known about the Newry dart scene as well. He's been thrown for quite a while. I'm sure his dad, Al, Big Al's about somewhere. There's no doubt. He'll be watching on, supporting, cheering, and sometimes grimacing, depending on how well Alfie Bird can throw. Alfie, of course, not altogether new to these sort of competitions. Been thrown in them for a while. As our caller moves towards the stage. So this should be an interesting one. Again, we really appreciate you all at home watching with us. to beat the darts. <laughs> so soon for off the throw. I think we have players in place, callers in place. Okay, folks. Johnny has darts for the bull. Johnny has darts for the bull. Here we go. He's outside. Alfie to follow. Alfie has darts. Here we go. First leg. Good dart from Alfie. Game on. Game on. Jimmy Elliott on supporting Alfie from afar. 140. Fine start there from young Alfie Bird. Fifty-eight. Wanna follow that up. Good positive start. 
with focus in the eyes. 60. For the young pretender. Johnny, of course, having plenty of experience. Both 100. Senior, senior and youth level. He's going to be a tough opponent for Alfie. <coughs> Just a moment to compose. After dropping the dart there for Alfie. 43. Yeah, that's unlucky. It could very easily have been a ton. Ninety-six. It's a good visit, and Johnny, bring him back in contention in this leg. One hundred. As you'll see with the youth, their best of five legs. This one. Another strong visit there from Alfie Bird of a hundred. One hundred. Back-to-back tons of these. Johnny Stewart answers ton. Ninety-five. There's a slight mix-up on the scoring there. Johnny Stewart actually hit a, a ton, and then Alfie followed with an eighty-five. software there sometimes can do that and take no time at all to sort that out sort out than they normally need. Some technical difficulty with the scoring board. Two players here in fine form though then hopefully Adrian Magov I'll fall out with you but if the gunners are one up I'm a happy man. I think he is joking me. I haven't got any sort of live notifications. Wait, maybe I have. Goal for Saka and assisted by Odegaard. We'll take that. Jimmy, come on. Be kind. some confusion here. That's right. And then it was a 95 for Alfie Bird. As far as I recall. Nin he had a 95. There you go. I think we're getting back to the, the cause of the, the situation. There's too, many, too much rapid fire there. But we're back on track. Johnny. 97. Alfie, you require 63. Good visit. 97. 63, 57 for Alfie. 17 tops. Top of the board. Oh, Game wow. shot. Check out. That's great finishing there from Alfie Bird. Great finishing. 100. Johnny kicks off with a ton, that's good darts. 24. Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine follow-up for Johnny. Let's see if Alfie can start fighting that treble range again. Fifty-eight. I have to give him his dues, it was a marvellous check. 
in that first leg. 134. Johnny has really started up in this night. One hundred. Forty-four. That's a good answer there from Alfie, and it's put Johnny slightly back on the the back foot going in there. Ninety-five. And Alfie Johnny require one six four. With the ninety-five, he's not quite where he wants to be, but it's good darts here from Johnny. Ninety-two. Good darts. Alfie needs at least a ton here. It's unfortunate. 55. Johnny requires 72. 32 scores. 32 scored. Leaving 40. 169. Alfie left the bogey. So can he tidy it up here? He sure can. Put another one down there. Would do you all right, Alfie. Leaving a 133 scored. At least 36 if you put another one in. 133. It's okay. Johnny, you require 40. My coaching is free. 30 scored. Not big Alfie, you require 36. Not big wobble of the last start because of the big score from Alfie. Two nines. Oh, no score. It's gone two twelves. That's unfortunate. Johnny, you require 10. Game shot, first start. That's a good dart from Johnny Stewart. Recovered well there. Third leg, Alfie starts. Recovered really well. 60. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. This is good darts. Both players matching each other here, straight for straight. 100. And effectively, the game became a best of three. Pretty. 100. Good darts from young Alfie Bird here. Johnny Stewart down at the 19th and moving back up. The 96. Board. He's thinking early. In the travel for Alfie. 85. He'll be happy with that visit. Johnny on 210 here. Look at it. 58. Trying Alfie, you require 161. Easy back in. <laughs> 28. Johnny, you require 152. <laughs> 78. It certainly wasn't beyond. Alfie the require 133. Johnny, but now Alfie with a 133 attempt. It's not going to be on this occasion. 76. Johnny requires 74. A bit cheeky there from Alfie. Can you like that? Looking for the two balls. Two after hitting the one. Nice. Shows the confidence of the man. 34 scored. Alfie requires 57. Now he can go to 17 tops. He's been very good. Up and around there, two tens. 47 scored. Slight look of disappointment there. Johnny, you require 40. I don't think Johnny will hang about here. He knows he's in a game. And he did. Game shot, second dart. And he points at the dart after. Fourth leg, Johnny is darts. 60. 140. Great visit from Alfie Bird. To stay alive in this game. 33. 33. Does Johnny potentially see the finish line in sight? Alfie's back in that treble again. 100. And a wonderful throw in action, Alfie Bird. Certainly a name to watch out for. It's good to see the youth, of course, coming through. 
see so many young players come through the system. 45. And then I... Be supported by the NIDO. 85. To make some of their dreams a reality. None less than Josh Rock. Daryl Gurney. 55. We've all been through it. Nathan Rafferty. We've all been through it. 60. These competitions just provide so much for them. Experience, big stages. 40, Alfie require 116. 116. Bang stars. Come on, you're still there. You're on the ball. Somebody tell him. Somebody help him out. See that? What? No, he split it. Alfie, split me. Split me. Well, I suppose he could. Could. 84 scores. Could. Not too often that you see that. Johnny having to tell the what his opponent scored. But here we go. If you require 32. Game shot. Ooh. First dart. Wow. Down to a one leg decider. Last leg. Alfie has darts. Game on. One hundred. Right. Alfie Bird continues his barrage of ton and ton plus scoring. Forty-four. Ninety-six. Followed up with an eighty-six, and Johnny Stewart now needs to make a move, and he's starting to make that move now. 140. Fantastic visit. Set the cat amongst the proverbial pigeons. 97. 87. Johnny's now found it. The travel more regularly in his last two visits. Look at this from young Alfie Bird. 80 scores. Absolutely unlucky with that last one. He Robin Hooded the dart. <laughs> too accurate, Alfie, on that occasion. He's on one too yet, though. Johnny has a bit of work to do. 55. 55 Alfie it? require 128. Six darts from one two eight for Alfie Bird. Forty scored. Oh. The one thing I'll say about him is he did reset after a disappointing second dart there. That's shown good temperament up there. Eighty-seven. Alfie require eighty-eight. That's a good visit from Johnny. Eighty-eight apiece. Here we go. It's a sprint. Sixty-eight. It's on. Oh. Eighty-one scored. Johnny require eighty-eight. Here we go. This is what sprinting's about. Two fourteens, two sevens, same double. Oh, they're both on seven. 81 scored. It's no longer a sprint that you can stretch the neck out over Alfie the line. Alfie seven. Game shot, Alfie second third. dart. You have arrived. Absolutely fantastic. What a game of darts from two stars of the youth game. Just amazing darts from both Alfie and Johnny. Really, really good. I have to say, Alfie Bird dealt with everything there supremely, like a pro. Years of experience wrapped up in youth. Wonderful to see it. You just take a look at the score, and you can see that overall, Alfie did come out slightly on top in the averages. Probably deserved to win overall. Johnny not just 100% there at it. Uh, but, you know, the future of Northern Ireland Arts is in good hands when we're seeing players that at this youth level playing that well congratulations to both players absolutely tremendous game best leg 16 dart leg for Alfie Bird he'd be pleased with that Johnny had his chance didn't take it it's unfortunate for him but it's, it's all learning for these guys all learning 
But that's uh, a really fantastic way to finish up. Alfie Bird must be happy with it. Well, moves on to the next round. Marching forward. And just as I look up the floor, I can see that the uh, Austin Thompson's marking, which means that some of the, the end remnants of our local players have now uh, receded. Did see Simon Wicks, Martin Carver leave earlier there. They're gone. Scrubbed. See Darren Clifford up there. A couple of members of the, the Tuesday Night Darts Club still here, still throwing. For all of those who are watching in the south. Ray Campbell's still floating about. He could have something to say today. As we look around, there's only one or two games left up on the boards. I think as we move from the round of 64 to 32, we're getting ever closer to the, uh, the telltale signs of the day. The floor event, as we all know, it's where people earn their stripes. The games up on the live stream have been not short of fantastic today. Really enjoyable. For now, we're going to take a quick break, folks. We'll be back with the next game real soon. Thanks for sticking with us. Remember, we're getting to the nitty-gritty of the competition, so it's going to get entertaining from here. Do stay with us, and we'll be back soon. Thanks.
vast. Twenty-five. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Now we Outside. have our first ladies uh, semi-final between oh, Raymond okay, Stanley and Rose Bulmer. And joining me, we have Dorothy Female Royalty. <laughs> she is the reigning Belt Open Ladies Champion, and more important, it's her birthday today. 45. So a big welcome to um, Michael Hayes, Dr. Jim to Laura Turner. Thank you very much. No that's, problem. That's a good. That's a good introduction. I hope I can live up to any of those expectations that you might have there. <laughs> One hundred. Oh, right, well, so well. Uh, against Ross, friends, yours, Laura, Laura. How do you see us? Yeah, I, Lorraine's been playing really well today. I mean, she played well yesterday. Was unfortunate, but uh, forty-three. I lost to Ross, so you know, she's obviously playing well. As well. Oh, she has been playing well to beat you. <laughs> so the game's just started here. Um, Lorraine was Stanley was first off for the ball. Ross seems to be a bit of a march on already. Seems to be throwing very safe. We're talking about 60. Now both, both players so consistent. It's going to be down to, like any match I guess, but it's going to be down to who, who can perform right now at the time. But Ross was so hard hitting on the treble 20s. And as you can, as you can see right see now. 125. Like I, just, uh, I watched a few games that were, uh, yes, young ladies. She's very, very consistent in treble 20s. And even if she's not him, she's not too far away from them. But Lorraine seems to be coming back at her here. 100. There's something about the way that Lorraine plays. Yeah. She is very much one of those players, uh, when she's up against it, she's... She's dogged. She just oh, she comes very, back. Very determined. Like, um, Forty-five. Like four years ago, uh, Lorraine actually won the Northern Ireland here against um, in a classic match against Anastasia. And even then, her first round match that day, she was playing Denise Cassidy. As you know, Denise Cassidy is a hell of a player. Sixty. Well. I said, I call it at the start. Whoever wins this is going to win the whole competition. Turns out, I was right for some reason. I'm never usually right, but it wasn't <laughs> that case. But um. Already, 24. in the blink of an eye, we are down to two big finishes here. In 15 yards, like the, the standard already is incredible. So we're in the semi final here, I suppose that's to be expected. 45. Rose would require 147. So Rose could put a hole in this here, not like that, but. But the nation's hitting in treble 20s and. 81. Just, just, uh, I thought you called it in again. You require 108. All about timing. That's been the theme of um, the darts that's, uh, so far this so far this weekend. The timing, the people hitting the big scores when they need to hit them. 52. So that 52 leaves a 56. Rose require 66. The way Rose has been playing the fullest pack, take this out and tops the goal to take a one in the lead. 46. Oh, that's not far away. Well, then you require 56. So 56, 16 tops are... Yeah, she, 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 she favours the tops quite often, yeah. actually. So... No two tens to hold it through. 46. And laser are two tens. Rose, you require 20. Back. That's a wee bit high. Good murder. No score. And you feel that's, that's quite a big opportunity ten. there for Rose to take that, that early lead, the early break. Did, that would lay down a bit of a marker in this game. So, one for two twos, I expect. So, two twos to hold it through. Six. So, Rose, the door is open again. Rose is required of 20. Yes, that's oh, no, game shot and the first leg. Rose Boomer. So that was a good confident dart. Just goes to Second away leg is Rose to the first. Shown. Game on. And the thing with when you play Rose, you, she's quite impassive. There's there's yeah. no real reaction to anything. It's just well, it's just cool, calm, and collected all the time. One hundred. She never, she never lets you know how she's feeling. Say she just lets her darts to the top. Yeah, which is actually as a player when you're playing against it, you kind of want to see a bit of emotion because it fires yeah. you up. But actually, she doesn't do anything. So you're like, oh right, you're just going about your business, and I'm 40. trying to get back into the match. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's a great answer for the thunder from Lorraine hitting the one forty. So they go. The real Lestan's been coming up here a long time. 81. She's won tiles over here, won tournaments over here, and she's always good. She's always, if you're always there, she's always a friendly girl, always there, willing to have a chat and a bit of a crack with as well. 
Yeah. Usually the husband's here, uh, whether as well. I haven't seen Dean here. 57. No, he's not. I think he's working this weekend. Is he? Oh, right. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's not here this weekend. But uh, but your husband's here and doing very well. Yes, he's still in. I know. I'm still, he's still there. Uh, 68. <laughs> of course, they are. Of course, also uh, uh, famous here in Northern Ireland. Up in the fourth year, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That as well. I think it was Jim Williams being up there, isn't it? 42. I know he was running up there. I think it was, I want to say, 2018, 2019. One of, yes. one of the last ones. It was, yeah. Obviously, because we've had COVID yeah. and haven't 40. been able to come back. So I, think it, I think it was 2018. I think it was, some, some time, I think it was Jim Williams. I think it was Jim. But yeah, we three well that weekend too and seem to be continuing the form. 41. So this leg here. Um, I'll say if Ross next to this leg is supposed to be a red hot favourite, the professional way she's thrown. 39. Yeah, both, both players kicked off yeah. with, with, with real intent, um, but just haven't been able to follow it just through in terms of scoring. 43. Do you think they, they, they could feel the tension that it being the semi final? Rob be coming through? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. We travel. We travel so much. Yeah. To, to, and it's not necessarily... 41. We want the prestige of winning trophies and we want all that side of things. But it's, it's the points as well, the you know. Well, yeah. So it's, it's it's always a lot on the line when you when you think yeah. about everything that you invest into a weekend like this. 60. That's good solid score there. Rosie the require 132. Well, 130 so possibly go to ball route here, which she does. So that's a good dart there. So travel 19. Unfortunate. Down there. 68. So 68 scored there, which leaves her 64. But we'll be back. Lorraine is well capable of hitting this. Oh, that's unlucky. So just take a step back to recount. You're 35 scored. Lose 85. 83. 52. So 66. If she returns. Or she require 64. So 64 for Rose to take a 2 in the lead. Tops. 24. So, 66. Lorraine, you 66. There's a good chance. It's, it's an immediate break back if Lorraine yes. can, can convert this. 6 knee 16 for Tops. Tops. Lorraine says, I'm lucky the last leg. Lorraine 26. Says, lucky this leg too. Rose, you require 40. Rose, this is a big chance for you now. Yes, that's game shot and the second leg. Ros Boomer. Double ten has definitely Top been a friend so far this match. Right? <laughs> game on. So obviously this weekend didn't plan out how you hoped it to be. How did you get on yourself? A senior first game against them. Um, near his own Monaghan. Yes. How yeah. You? No, uh, uh, it was a really good game, really competitive, but um, managed to scrape through 4-1. Oh, Ros to fill, fill it up here. Oh, but she really is putting in a marker here in this game. And that's massive. In the context that she's 2 0 up, but this is against Lorraine yes. Starts. This is a this is a huge leg. Sixty. And Lorraine just so unlucky there, just hitting that wire. Well, that's been a feature of this game so far. Like Rain has always just been in that top wire. Just, just can't seem to find the time. One hundred. Whereas Rose just find consistently. She looks quite happy in herself, happy in her game. As I say, she she doesn't give you much as a player, whereas you can read Lorraine's like emotions yeah. from her face. You know 60. when she's not happy. Like there. Like there. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're also some track to play poker against. Ah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play against uh, Rose. I play against Lorraine. <laughs> Eighty. I save you up a few quid if you did, man. <laughs> so, so far, Lorraine's very consistent in the twenties, but she needs travels here. And again, 60. Rose, you require 141. Got well, 141 here for Rose. 100. <laughs> Great last start there for Rose. darts on 41. That is very, very steady darts. And just Levine just doesn't seem to have an answer so far. And it's so 60. frustrating as a player. Yeah. You, know, you transition from the floor, Rose you're playing 41. well. And now Rose is. Uh, Needs 32 for the third leg. Needs 16 for the third leg. Ooh. 
She's got time. 25. Time. Oh, so you'll lose the time. And the, the, Lorraine just can't bear travel here. Oh, stop one now. She's another one. 140. Oh. All about timing. Rose, you require 16. All about, All about timing. So, two fours to take a team. Ooh. No score. Right, Lorraine and Stanley, here's your chance. Lorraine, you require 61. So, Cosmo 25. King Ball. Forty-one. Bit of a miscount there for me. Goes you require <laughs> sixteen. I just let you carry on with it. No, it's fine. See, that's what we aim down here. Commentating the not playing. <laughs> oh. oh, no score. So now you feel this is a massive opportunity. Yes. Lorraine, you require twenty. So Lorraine will have a chance. She needs this. Rose has given her the opportunity. She just has to take it now. No score. The Roger requires 16. The disappointment on her face there was clear for all to see. And it's a part of Lorraine's game which is yeah. normally so spot no on. No score. Again, another chance here. To Lorraine, you require 20. She's only been going to get a few chances here. The way Rose is playing. Yes, as so game shot. And the third leg. Lorraine wins Stanley. Fourth leg, it's Rose to throw first. Just a flicker of game on. there in Rose's face, I noticed. The first time Rose has had this game. 60. So how's that going to factor? A game she had in the palm of her hand to go so close to the final and just let it slip. Do you think that would just feed into her now or is that a factor in any 60. way? It's going to be frustrating, absolutely, as you can understand, but... Again, that was a that was a leg on um, Lorraine's darts. Yeah, you know, and she she created all those opportunities for herself. Yes, okay, she didn't take them. It is frustrating, but in the big context of what she needs to do, no, she needs to just uh, knuckle down and carry on it doing just, what she's it doing. Just needs to re get it clear out of her head. Game over is a new game now. So just has to start from a sixty. But again, Lorraine just can't get the travel. And Rose again is fine the travel. She really has found 85. the in this game. Just looks like Aaron is still there, so... Yeah, still going. Still going. <laughs> That's a good dart there from it. 81. That's good, so... The rain has found the treble in this leg. In this leg, one treble, so... She'll hope we get a few more. She'll find the range now. 100. Whereas Rose just keeps counting that treble country. With great frequency. Needs another one. 60. It's like anything, even in terms of the styles. Ross, Ross has got quite a laid back kind of. Yeah. Body through, whereas Lorraine obviously has a very like a deliberate. Very punchy kind of yeah. life, hasn't she? 95. So. Which she's used to great effect over the years. Yeah. To, be, to be fair, I've been on the back end of many a beating by Lorraine Wynn Stanley. Okay, I'm sure you give her a beating, a couple of beating. I, I've, I've had a couple now. Yeah. <laughs> 42. So, 42. Roger Dequire, 95. Not contact this leg. So, travel 19 for double 19. That's the way to go here. Oh, that's on the floor. Down Ooh. again. Yep. Yeah. 79. Last great last start. Great last start. 16 left. 16 left. So, only thing Lorraine can do is just pressure A's, but... Well, she did it last leg, yeah. and it, it panned out. Just not working out. 41. So only 41, so... Roger requires 16. You take a 3-1 lead. Yes, that's game and shot, and the fourth leg, Rose Bulma. There's no mess right there from Rose. Fifth leg, it's Lorraine to throw first. Game on. So, how are you finding your weekend in Yuri so far on your, on your birthday? I yeah. know, I know. Um, no, I, I love it. We haven't obviously been able to be here for quite yeah. some 95. time. 95. Just with the pandemic and everything being cancelled. So, it's it's absolutely wonderful to be back in Bellini, which is, yes. it's like a TARDIS, isn't it? It's just huge. You walk uh, in. 60. <laughs> I've never heard of it called a TARDIS before, but I do get your point. <laughs> it's not many a night in here. <laughs> and early mornings, I'd imagine. <laughs> One weekend. 140. <laughs> great dark. Lorraine just, she needed that now just to 
more suggested, G herself up. I'm interested to see how she gets on from this point because, yeah. as I said, when her back's against the wall, Lorraine can just find darts that she hasn't been producing. Yeah. She can just switch it on. Now, because I previously mentioned that finding a Anastasia a few years ago. Um, I think Anastasia was one leg away from it. And I think uh, Lorraine's won one three in the spin. 40! Darts you through them last leg, just as no one's going to touch her. Eighty-five. Only eighty-five there from Rose. So she leave behind, as you said, like the Lorraine's fighting Polly seem to be coming out now. It's never over till it's over when you're throwing against Lorraine. Ninety-seven. Yeah, good it's switch awesome. there. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's good ball management. Even yeah. if she'd hit the nineteen, she'd be left one six seven. Yeah. So it's a big part of the game, and um, one that I'm not that 43. great at, to be honest. But, so you need to acquire one hundred twenty-nine. You know, you know, it's not that good, not myself. <laughs> The guy just really froze, wants to get out of 150 then a start about but the way that the star players do this, they see me think about the finishes till they're about 41. 300. They see me going right now and hit this, that leads me in the finish if I hit that there. Whereas me, I just say, right, get down to 150 then you think about it. Yeah, no. That's what I would do. Absolutely. 123. So that 123. Well, then you'd acquire 88. Still leaves Rose in a bogey, so Lorraine has a six starts here to take out this 88. 38. 38 there, 50. Rose, Rose just has the pressure raise. Oh, that's the wrong treble, Rose. That's the wrong bed. Oh. Nine. That is per, that's well, then you require probably 50. Probably possibly the worst he does, Rose Bummer's too. It has, but it also leaves her on another bogey, unfortunately. Yeah. I was going to say, the worst he does, Rose is all weekend. Never mind this game. Yes, that's um, game show. And the fifth leg. Well, then when Stanley. Well, Laura, you call Six leg is Royce to throw well, first. The backs again, the wall. Game on. The rain was done, comes out swinging. I mean, this is the leg. Royce should be in control. One it's a great start. Well, it's, that's a good way to take control. Just to grab this leg by the scruff. But if that last leg shows anything, the rain isn't going to give this up. 100. Yeah, you don't get to a point in your career where you're a, you're a former world master without no. uh, having a bit of fight in you, do you? Well, I wouldn't know much about that. 140. <laughs> no, it was high, to be fair. <laughs> I think the only thing I won was with third division pairs on his 14 with my dad. That was about the head of it. I won the occasional raffle. 60. I got my second first test. <laughs> yeah. I'm a 50 yard breast up, that's about the head of that. I've noticed this 41. as well. As she, she puts in some amazing scores, really yes. can string things together and then just throw in that occasional one that just doesn't quite work. No. But like 95. Maybe the range should have switched down the 19s earlier. Seen her hitting, hitting them with more, re more regularly than the travel 20s. She doesn't switch often, but I have seen her do 28. it. 28. If she's not comfortable up there, she will do it. She's going back down to 19s. Yep. It looks like it kind of rattled Rose a wee bit. It's like scores of 41 and 20. Yeah, we don't usually see that from Rose now. 98. Switches and hits the treble. You know, it's just a okay. little break from the treble 20. Let's uh, visit the 19s and then we can smash in the trebles again. 60. So. Well, then you require 148. We have Cable hitting this now. She's playing this past few legs. There we go. So, see him again. Oh, unlucky. To stay, I think. Yeah. 140! Rose, you require 130. Have a bit of insight into Lorraine's finishing because we've been oh, doing oh, finishing. Oh, we're on here, we're on here. Oh. So, 62 scored. That's 70 left, Rose. You just saw. Scored. Seventy-seven. Right, so, well, then you require eight. From being dead in the water, Lorraine has a chance to pull this back level to go to a one-leg shootout. Yes, that's game shot and the sixth leg. Lorraine well, Stanley. Well, seventh and final leg is Lorraine to throw first. Laura, game you did on. call this. You did say it. She comes out swinging. She really does, and you can. Like you said a couple of legs ago, you could see a little bit of frustration yeah. in Ros's face there, and I understand it. She's had chances, really, to have seen this out 4-0, yeah. but uh, hasn't taken them, and Lorraine's taken advantage, but she's 
playing better now. Oh, she is better. <laughs> she's hitting them trebles now. So before they're just all on the top, of the, the top wire of the trebles. So now you see me fall in there and that just kind of give her a new sense of... You said that, like, she, 97. You know, she doesn't. She never gave up anyway. She's two one down. She never gave up. Just seems something just hit yeah. a switch and just says, "Right, I'm going to win this." Today. 45. But it's she's the reign was down. and she's a champion. So. One hundred and forty. There's a new look, a, deter there's a new determined look on her face now. That you can tell. You can, you can tell from Lorraine's face sometimes she does have this. Yes. Kind of, uh, I'm doing this now. Eighty-five. And actually potentially well, looking at the best leg of the match, not just for Lorraine yeah. but the whole match. Just looks totally focused here, doesn't she? One hundred. To be honest, I wouldn't want to argue with her at the moment. No. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't even want to go near it and then it just looks as if she'd rip your head off. But that's 140! But he's going 64. Could be too lit and too lit. So tops. She stayed in the water. And 24. So had, had it lined up and everything. I knew I was going to save to hit that one. Yeah, no shit. That would have been a classic too. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, she will be back, obviously. Oh, she will be back, yeah. 60. What do you need to acquire 40? But she doesn't want to hang around here. That's close. Good mark. Game. Shot. And the match. Lorraine Win Stanley. Now, that was some performance. Dead in the water, and she came back. And probably should have best start to two all weekend. Yeah. I think it, I think it just in terms of the context of the match, you know, going three 0 down, or you know, just being that far behind, to find that fight, to find that fire. That, as I said, Lorraine does that. Oh, she was. That was a fantastic performance. Maybe not so much to start, but just look at the average here. Sixty-six point one two average. That's respectable. In terms of semi-final rows, sixty-four. I thought. I would say Rose were up near the nineties for the first couple of legs just through. I think it was just a little bit of messing around on doubles, yeah, which perhaps doesn't game, reflect yeah. double. As soon as you start he scoring zero, it really does affect does the affect average. The, yeah. uh, it probably, in terms of scoring, I think actually yes, yeah. I would have said it would be higher, but you've got to get the whole package to get that high exactly, average. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, five score, five ton scores, five scores a ton plus for Lorraine, eight tons and two ton pluses for Rose. Pretty even, the whole way through, it was just um, Rose gave, Rose gave um, Lorraine the chance and she went through it and then after that there was no turn back. Theme of the weekend as well, moments turned games and I think that chance that Rose had to go through up quite possibly turned the whole game. Yeah, absolutely, no, completely agree and uh, as I say, she's Lorraine's a fighter, I've always seen it. Yep. Well, folks, we will be back again soon with the second semi-final. Um, Lisa Ashen against No Vandalina. I think you call her. Noah Lynn. Noah Lynn. Oh, I was nearly right there. No, I think it's Noah Lynn Van Eulen. Van Eulen. Yeah. But anyway, we'll be back with that game pretty sharp. So uh, join us again, folks, for the second semi-final, which no doubt should be a classic as well. Thanks very much. See you later, folks.
Final, she said just just in that moment the disappointment was incredible in the moment of scoring the 30 because she knew that she'd give away a leg yeah. and she didn't need to you know she's, she's, act she's actually one of her like say what own words I mean she's probably a biggest critic I've watched her come off games that she's won and actually go no wasn't good enough wasn't good enough and she's won it yeah. I mean that's all you can actually expect to do that, that that's your job that's your goal when you're playing but she has really 45. high expectations of herself and understandably so. I mean, first woman to ever get a tour card, uh, you know, through the, through the system of Q school anyway. Um, 96. She, she, sets the, she has been and is setting the standard for the rest of us women to kind of go, right, if you want to play this, you've got to play me and you, you've got to beat me. 81. <laughs> she effectively is the bar. Yes. You know, she is the bar and she's, she's what everyone else is reaching to do. And of course, look, her accolades are well documented over the years, but I had a great chat with her yesterday. 85. And, you know, she's so humble. Um, and even this morning, you know, she was saying, you know, we thought, what are your chances today? I want to win it. So, but, you know, 90. I also have to, I also have to get off and, uh, you know, see my husband at the end of all this. So, you know, she's, she's got her priorities all in the right place and that just makes it slightly easier for her with the experience 95. in these competitions. We see yeah. the choir 145. I mean, she's been, she's been travelling so much, obviously, since Australia. She's pretty much been at it every weekend since then. 89. So, it's no, you require 125. I think she just needs a, she needs a break, like everyone. You know, she's been, she's been six, seven weeks on the road, and it's uh, it, it's hard. It's hard for players. You want to make the most of every 97. opportunity in front of you, but there you has to be a break somewhere. Yeah, it's a tiring experience when, when you're going to all of these high-level ranking events. You know, we've got yes, that's game shot the and the first leg. First Lisa Ashton, double, she's taken it. Second leg is not it's all first game on. Won the lead, but it, as we're saying, when you're going to these events, trying to build up your ranking points. For the uh, twenty six, our goal is to become world champion again. Yep. You know, and when when you gotta go and you gotta 
get to these latter stages of all these competitions really, really 43. important that not only you do the travelling, but that you're so focused when you're there to get to the latter stages. It takes its toll mentally, physically, you know, 47. burn out at some point. Absolutely, and, and it kind of goes back to the expectation that she has on herself. You know, she expects to make these finals, and understandably so. 60! But uh, everyone's human at the end of the day. Everyone's beatable as well. Um, you know, it, it, it's easy for me to sit here and talk about her, but I know that she will expect to win every single game and every single leg that she ever plays. And the beauty of Lisa and her character is if she was sitting here talking about you in the same breath, she'd be saying all the same. <laughs> 180! Fantastic darts again from Lisa. Noah, of course, has fought her way through to get to this point um, off a very difficult 43. floor event today. All weekend, the, the floor event, the ladies, the, the quality we've seen yourself, Lorraine, who's now in the final, Aileen de Graaf. 140! It's fantastic as well. I mean, the, the quality of the event this weekend in the ladies' game has been really, really high. Really, really high. 100. And we see that we, 78. we might not have had the, like, the uh, massive numbers and the entries that the men have had, but in the same breath, the quali- like you say, the quality that 66. actually is here, every game has been difficult. Yeah. Absolutely every game. I've watched so many today, and you know, like, like you say, the standard has been exceptional. Yeah, there's, 43. There's certainly a feeling across you say you require all of the competitions that, you know, we have to be realistic. We're just giving Lisa the opportunity to hit this double. Nine. We're just going no, to require the 157. Of, you know, not a lot of these major scale events. And it's going to take a while for the numbers to build again. But what you do have is the purists. You have the people who never gave up. Yeah. 137. That has raised the quality you of the You say you require three. You might have smaller numbers, but it's more difficult to win a game. No Absolutely. score. Noah, you require 20. Two tens for Noah. Yes, that's game shot and the second leg. Noah Lynn Van Leuven. Give Noah a great lift. Third leg, it's Lisa to throw first. Game on. Yeah, so far all gone with hold. Um, Lisa had a very good opportunity to break there, but to just couldn't Six convert day. it. But it's early doors, you know, it's the, it's the first of four, so... No panic from either of them yet, I wouldn't have yeah, thought. It's, we haven't quite got into sprint mode. We're still in the marathon stage here. 31. Seen these earlier on, of course, there's a, a lot of the youth tournament contenders up and they were getting Lisa to find the jerseys and yeah. you know, she's got the full superstar status. Absolutely. Whether she likes to admit it or not, you know, she's she's on everyone's radar for it. I uh, I was lucky enough to get a, a selfie 132. Yesterday it'll go on the wall of fame, <laughs> along with all the other world champions that we've managed to get selfies with over the years at these events. So 100. It's, it's brilliant that she's uh, she's so accommodating to everyone. And of course, if she's got a competition to be a part of, she's got to be zoned in and focused, but she takes it all in her stride. I think you find with most players, especially you know, when, when you're playing an event like this where you're playing on an open floor, I think you find with most players, they're, they're all more than willing to have the pictures and have the selfies. 100. The you're nothing if you can't bring, not, not just inspire the next generation, but just you know engage with fans of the sport. It, it, it's all part and parcel. And just to be asked for a picture, I mean, I can only speak from my 46. experience. I used to think, really? You, why? <laughs> you know, and it, it, it's it's a strange feeling, but no, these people love the sport. 140! Down to people in a position like Lisa, like like myself, like Lorraine, you know, we, we love engaging with them back. Absolutely, and, and the beauty of it is, right, darts is a community, always has been from grassroots to pro level. 123! And I think, I think we the, say you the require beauty of 41. that is you see it at events like this. Right. Two sixteens. Twenty-five. A couple of opportunities. No, you require one hundred and ten. She's been loose on double. She's not normally like that, so she'll she'll be certainly disappointed in her approach there. Forty. Mm. No, we're just not able Lisa, to find that third number eighteen there, but to sixteen here for Lisa. Yes, that's game no shot problem. and the third leg. Lisa Ashton. She rubber Fourth leg. That one. No, I throw first. Game on. And again, as you say, Laura, it's sticking with throw at the moment. 50! Yeah, no, we're visibly not happy with that. Uh, and it is frustrating. You, can, you, you actually feel like you've thrown 60. the darts, but they go treble five, treble one. They're just so close. And you're just not able to adjust. Very frustrating as a player. It's the beauty of the game. You know, a lot of people compare darts with golf. 
No, thankfully I don't play. Certainly. I've tried. I've, I've, yes, as have I. And I've, <laughs> I've absolutely thought that this is an absolute waste of everyone's time, me being here. But 121. Because it's very similar in terms of you can go up your board, you can hit a 180, and you know you're capable of doing it, and you can do it many times. But when you really want to do it and it doesn't work, it's the most frustrating thing 85. in the world in that moment. You know, and every dart thrower from the very first person to pick up a dart to 100. You know, 16 time world champions they all have the same feeling yep yeah there is no rhyme or reason no and we saw it earlier you know you, you, can, 100. you can be one leg away you need in three legs to win and we, as we saw with Lorraine and Roz and then you can just find this fire inside you that, to let you win off three legs in a row and it's it's just the way it's the way it goes and sometimes people call that snatching defeat from the jaws of victory yeah. You know, if you're Roz, you're looking at that saying, how on earth? 45. But very simply. We see you require 120. Has, uh, just watch the end of it here at the commentary area. And Liam's just so focused. She didn't waver. She's just, it's just natural for her, isn't it? 80. She's been there before. She's done it before. She's been in that position before. Experience is a wonderful Jake thing. Jake, last was 70 for Lisa, sorry. Yeah, I just thought that myself. Uh, Lisa's gone for 45. She's left herself bullseye there. I did... Uh, my maths is not my strongest point, but I, I did wonder where she went. Stronger than mine. <laughs> 85. <laughs> Stronger than you mine. You see, you require 50. She's gone 10 tops. Yes, as game shot. And the fourth leg. And Lisa Ashton. Lisa Ashton, one leg away. Fifth leg, it's Lisa to throw back first. back finals. Game on. Very similar to Kirsty Hutchinson. Did it 2019. Yes. I think the last year we were here. I think you might have been in the semi-final or final that year. Semi-final. 60! Semi-final. Might have been floating around <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Kirsty, of course, I didn't see her this weekend. I'm not sure if she made it over. But no, she's not here this weekend. 55. Um, still still working hard, still playing her trade. We follow each other on social media and stuff. She's still working hard at it. Um, and again, Kirsty. 125! Around the ladies' game, you know. Bo Greaves, of course. Wow. She's making waves. Oh. When I say waves, I mean like tidal waves. <laughs> Tsunamis. <laughs> <She's 59. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Bo Greaves is uh, currently thrown on a different planet yes. to a lot of dart throwers. 81. Male and female. Absolutely. I mean, so b- both Lisa and Noah play on the uh, women's series of so the PDC that we, we play in. And obviously we saw Bo introduced back at the 57. last one in Hildesheim in Germany won all four r- events I, I, I personally I think that's greedy uh, you know I don't know how anyone else <laughs> can, can see that I can understand you know 130 you know, there should be enough to go round yeah, absolutely so share, share the spoils yeah. come on so if you're watching this Bo or if you're catching up on it later you know be fair yeah. 60 at least give us we a we see you require one. 105 <laughs> just don't end up one of them <laughs> but again Bo's been doing that from a very young age yes or a really young age and Look, again, at, at maybe you know, 18, 19 years of age, she has the experience 73. that some people only get by the time they're 35, 40 in darts. And she's just, she's so level-headed. She's just got such a way with the sport, you know? 60. But here, match-winning opportunity here for 32. Lisa Ashton. Needs to 16. She has to move, though. Game. Well, look at Shot. That. And the match, Twinkle Lisa, Lisa Ashton. Ashton. Dancers around the hockey, to fire in a double 16, make her way to a final, so it's back-to-back finals. What a performance. Unfortunately, Noah, her average will tell you, she never really got going. And she, you can tell she's walking away there. She's disappointed with her performance, but again, when you're starting on the tracks and you see that steam train of Lisa Ashton coming, it's very hard to get out of the way. It is. It is. You, you really do have to get out of the traps pretty quickly. I mean... No, we did get that leg in there, obviously, but uh, yeah, and I've seen her play so much better, but Lisa Ashton, when she's, things you know with Lisa, she's got gears that she can go through, so even when you fire something, she's going to fire something back at you, so you need to get in there early. Absolutely, and we, see, we saw those gears yesterday, particularly in the final, where she started, you know, she started kind of balanced, and all of a sudden, and even in the semi-final, I think she played Denise Cassidy, and Denise is an absolutely phenomenal. Oh, she's a legend, thrower. isn't she? Yeah, oh, I love, I love and Denise. A, and a real trailblazer over here locally for darts, you yep. know, um, like, De- Denise was one of those ones who kind of played, you know, played her own game, plays her own trail, turned up at, at the men's events when that just didn't happen. It didn't happen, you yeah. know, and she said, well, why not? Why can I not play? You know, And then she went in and destroyed everybody <laughs> in her groups, in her round robins, and just getting to quarterfinals and semifinals and going, what on earth's happening, you know? Um, but such a lady, but again, almost, almost 
made to look like a novice with how Lisa went through the gears yesterday with her in the semi-final, you know, and as we discussed here in commentary, this is Denise Cassidy. It's not a, you know, it's not a pushover here. No. <laughs> this is someone with, again, a litany of titles behind her. But, so, you know, Lisa's just, she's a different animal. Absolutely. I think that there's a few... I think the I think the women's game has come on in leaps and bounds over the last uh, I want to say the few years because uh, you know that's where my personal involvement has been but actually it has been something that's been building over you know decades absolutely in real terms yeah. however over the last few years when you look at those top few players you've got Lisa you've got uh, you've got Lorraine you've got as you say you know you've got Makuru Anna all these top players they've brought this game on and now then in steps Bo as well into that arena and you just think wow yeah, it's it's wonderful. At this point, we're almost looking at parity, mm-hmm. and that's that's where we tried to get to. In my opinion, we're getting there. Yeah, right. And it's it's thanks to people like Denise Cassidy, Lisa Ashton, yourself, people who who offer more to the sport than just playing. It, yeah, right. To take that extra step, to do more, to be present. Yeah, and you have to be present in darts, and it's. It's so wonderful to see, you know, Fallon Cherrick obviously has done tremendously well. Absolutely. You know, and, and Fallon has been over here many times, Northern Ireland Open. We were with her in Killarney. Uh, I think she partnered Dita Hedman. And, you know, Dita is another one. Dita, Dita of course, Absolute yeah. trailblazer. There's so many that you could name that have got us to this point. There's still more to do. And we still haven't mentioned Trina. I mean, Trina like Gulliver. I said, yeah. The golden girl. The golden girl. The golden girl. Absolute legend of the sport. Yeah, very much so. And it's these people that have brought... It to where it is at the moment, and it's the re- you know th- they're kind of the reason why perhaps you've got a Bo Greaves that's now stepping up to the hockey. Absolutely, I, I, or I believe a in Sheldon or a Robin Byrne. Absolutely, or, you know. I, I'm a big believer in see it to believe it. You know the whole Billy Jean thing, and now we're seeing it more and more, and we're seeing it on the bigger te- the bigger screens and on the bigger platforms. You know, every platform is important, but the more people that can see it, the more players that hopefully will get involved, and that's how you then put the entry numbers up and you then push the calibre up and it's getting that way but it takes time <laughs> it takes time you know and it, it almost had to become acceptable yes that, and that's the reality you know that you know young girls wanted to do this let yep. them do it same as football everything else let them do it yeah absolutely I mean one of my first Strange and the progress has been good, but wanted it to be quicker. Absolutely, you know, progress. It's there. So we are now moving on to our ladies' final. I've sprung that upon you. I'm sorry, you're not getting a toilet break. No, that's we're fine. Straight in. I'm here. I'm we're here for the in. duration. <laughs> so we're straight into the ladies' final. Um, best of nine legs, and it's Lisa and Lorraine. Two great friends, best of enemies, <laughs> as they say. Um, and you know this, this ought to be Lisa just coming off that win. Very little time for the adrenaline change there. I've I've often said, and we said it yesterday, if she's able to keep that adrenaline level up, then Lorraine might suffer for that because you know she's just come off a good win in the semi-final. Her arm's still fresh, it's still hot. She's still finding those trebles. It remains the time to drop that round level. Can she build it back up ready for the final? It can go in two ways. It genuinely can. I've watched it. I've watched things like, um, just throwing it in there, but I remember Luke Humphreys beat Mo, uh, Michael Van Gerwen in the, semifi- in the second semi final of the UK Open, mm-hmm. but then had to go straight back on. And sometimes you just need that little bit of break, actually. Sometimes when you've. When you've overcome, when, when you've got through that match and you want it, you know, your adrenaline is pumping, it can be a bit too much. So it can work in both ways. Personally, I think uh, Lisa will just take everything in a strike because that's all she ever does. But, you know, th- there is an argument for a four and against. Yes, okay, you, f- you fresh your arms good, you feel good, you've just won. But for some players, they do like to have that kind of just, just that pause, just that kind of five, ten minute gap. Whereas here, you know, it's the way it is straight back on straight back on and that's that, look, the beauty of these floor events that's what happens you know there's, there's very little rest re- respite for anybody involved 
big question here is do these two players know each other too well and does that impact their performance no. I haven't looked at the statistics, I'll be honest, but I imagine these two have played each other on copious occasions and they've both got the better of each other. I mean, you can see them maybe, you know, just chatting away to each other on the hockey, having, having a good old catch up. Um, both played for England, both, you know, they've, they've been teammates, they've probably been partners over the time. Um, they know what each other's game is, they know what they can both bring. It's who does it up there right now, right at this moment. Yeah. In, in that race to five, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. Of course, look, Lorraine and Stanley for many, many moons has been able to give as good as she can get to any of the, the top level throwers. She's won the event for the, the Northern Ireland Open before. She's been on that stage. She knows how to carry a trophy off it. So there's absolutely nothing to say that her ability could, you know, hit its peak level here and put Lisa in a position where she's uncomfortable. And that that is one of the key pieces when you're playing these action is if you make her uncomfortable you have to keep doing it yes you know you can't just do it in fits and starts because Lisa it, to her that becomes normality again and she just goes back to what she knows and I'm no, I have noticed on occasion with some of Lisa's games I mean we've we've seen a grade Lisa this weekend however she she does have that uh, bit where she can she can she can lull she can just kind of drop off ever so slightly it's rare I get that, you know, but it can happen. And I think sometimes that happens when, like you say, the opposition puts on that extra bit of pressure that she hasn't perhaps felt over a competition. Sometimes, you know, you get people that have come here for the crack, you know, they, they've come here because they, they want to play in the Northern Ireland Open. They draw Lisa first game. And I've seen them, they, they go out in that first leg and they're all guns blazing and you get tons and some 40s. And Lisa does a thing, wins it, and then all of a sudden they're 26s and 45s because they can't cope with maintaining that consistency. Yeah, Lisa does that to you, but I'll be honest, Lorraine can do that to you as well. So it, it, it's an interesting lineup. It's a great final. Yeah, absolutely. Both both players well equipped to be able to, as I would call it, train puppies. You know, whenever the puppies come in in the first round of these floor events and they're only here for the weekend, they're not really thinking of ranking points or anything else, and they come in, as you say, you know, they kick off phenomenally. 140 tonne. I can't believe I'm playing this way against Lorraine and Stanley, and all of a sudden they're four nil. Yeah, it's done. You know, See ya. <laughs> Lorraine and, Thanks for turning and up. Lorraine and Stanley, about two hours later, will give them a very polite wave and forget their name because <laughs> <laughs> she's been through so many opponents to that point. But that person lives with that moment for the rest of the weekend, you yeah. know, and it's wonderful. Again, brilliant part of the sport of darts that you get those moments, especially at these events. Absolutely. No, it's, it's kind of what made it for me when I started playing. You know, you, I, I remember drawing Deet Hebben, for example, at like a, a, just a local Essex tournament that we'd, we'd turn up to. And for me, it was like, I'm playing Deet Hebben. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She absolutely, you know, floored me, like she does most times anyway. But, uh, yeah, no, it was it was a great opportunity. It was a great experience at the age of, like, 18, 19 to, to be playing these people. And I don't think the players themselves kind of see themselves in that light and I think that's what makes them so humble so approachable they, 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 they're just dark players at the end of the day yeah, right? very much so very much so I remember we were at, at I think it was uh, maybe Clarny Darts Festival a few years back and uh, we were getting to the final and just before the final somebody brought a birthday cake on stage for Dita it was her birthday it was the final of a major WTF so Dita, right? so, so Dita got a cake where's my cake well, now, it's your birthday today. I heard somewhere someone has a Mars bar with a candle in it for you. That's about as much as we could stretch to here. Our budget's very, very, very <laughs> refined, as you can tell. I'm joking. <laughs> I am joking. Please don't anyone come with a Mars bar and a candle in it. Please. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, if you're listening, <laughs> I want to... If you're listening and you're in the uh, vicinity of Newry, Bellini of Newry, I, yeah, I want a cake. Yes. <laughs> someone bring... Or a Mars a bar cake. with a candle in it. <laughs> Either or, I'll be happy. Oh, no, you'll be thinking about me. Jesus, <laughs> So can't call between them for the bull up. Outside. Twenty five. First leg, Lisa to throw first. Game on. Thirty, just like that, we'll have darts. Here we go. Game on. <laughs> Sixty. It's 
steady start from the rain. Sixty. Lisa's quite rabid, isn't she? She's quite quick. Yeah. Yeah, she's a really, I guess you would call it a rhythmical thrower in terms of uh, when she's up there, it's bang, bang, bang. Yeah. That's it. Methodical 60. approach. Knows what she wants to do every three darts. Tries to do it. Moves on. It's actually a pleasure to watch somebody with such a natural kind of rhythm. 45. Doesn't get disturbed. Doesn't matter if she has a 45, she'll do the same thing next throw. Yes, absolutely. And Lorraine definitely off to a, a better start yeah, in this match than she was in the semi final against Rosario. 137. Rose Good darts there. A little bit more considered in her throw, Lorraine. Than Lisa. You know, maybe just not as. 100. Forward. But sometimes that measured approach can help. It's like anything, I think everyone has. It, if you pick up a pick up a pen or pick up a dart or whatever you, and you throw 60. it, that's kind of your throw. That's it. That's how you do it. And, and we've seen some brilliant throws. I've seen some atrocious throws over the years. Yeah. Uh, you know, it is what it is. 100. We've seen, we've seen some people try to, quote unquote, work on their throw. Yes. And typically what happens is they drop off. It, it, it possibly can happen. You can overthink a throw. I think with Lisa, 45. If you look at, say, someone we see like Lisa, 158. there is... There is no thought in, in such. It's just it's instinct. And she needs 38 now. 120. Lorraine, you require 139. And again, just like that in six starts for Lorraine. It started so well. Lisa Ashton bangs in. Ton-ton 120. And now Lorraine's under pressure in the first leg. That's what we're talking about. 59. Switching up those gears. You know. So you require 38. Six starts. Goes, oh, hold on a second. Lorraine's throwing well here. I need up it again. You could uh, see, I don't know where Lisa's quite going. I'm just looking over, she's moving over. Yes, that's game shot Sprinkle and goes. the first leg. Lisa Ashton. Really Second Amazing. leg, it's Lorraine to throw first. She threw that from game the rock. <laughs> Next town over. <laughs> 60. I like that from Lorraine though. No dramatics, just get on with it. It's all right, leg's gone, move to the next. Like anything, it's early doors, and it was Lisa's throw, 60. so it's, it's kind of gone with perhaps expectation as you'd expect it. I mean, these these two are the number one and number two seeds in the ladies' tournament this weekend, and rightly so. Rightly so, they've been both performing really well at mm -hmm. any of the WDF events yep. that we've been following. You know, so yeah, I think after forty-four. The seedings are a relatively complicated matter, but I would say after Aileen de Graff's exploits in uh, Belgium last weekend, I think she's actually jumped both of these players um, and is sitting slightly higher. But Aileen just just didn't find a groove here this weekend. Ninety-seven. No, it, it didn't really it didn't really fall for Aileen this weekend. And funny, we were mentioning earlier about the names of who we thought would count and get to the latter stages, you know. And we had mentioned one hundred and twenty-five two ladies who are in the final. Um, yourself, Aileen. Um, Denise Cassidy, of course, Paula Jacklin, you know, maybe not throwing the darts that Paula's thrown previously at 83. present. 83. But, um, you know, certainly counts in the in the wider spectrum. But the two throwers that are here now are absolutely deserving. 180. Famous. Lisa Ashton tops up her average yet again. Yeah, like everything, we talk about timing, and what a perfectly timed 180 there for Lisa. Leaves herself a 92. 140. After just 12 darts. We see you require 92. Good answer of a 140, though. Just lets Lisa know if you don't take this out, I'm going to have a dig. Look at this. 76. It's a joy to watch. Well, then you require 100. And I quite like that from Lisa. That's uh, she's She's gone the ball route to make sure she's at least got a shot for a double. She hasn't gone the treble 20 route. Lorraine's went for double. Oh, double. but I also 40. quite like that from Lorraine. That was quite cheeky. You see, the, 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 thing, the thing about that is, you, you, some people would say, a bit cheeky, but it's massive. Yes, that's game shot and the second leg. Players. Absolutely. Lee Sash, I have to go for what's Third available. Third leg, it's Lee Sash, it's all first. Get your, your dig at it. Game on. It so it's great to see that, you know. And the double double route is not unsensible. I mean, it runs the risk, obviously, if you throw 60. over the top that you miss and you score nothing. However, it's bigger than a treble. Well, it's twice the size of a treble, isn't it? I don't talk about it. I don't hit doubles very often. Not often enough. Well, see, I, I like doubles because I don't hit trebles often enough. <laughs> oh, no, I'm okay with the trebles. <laughs> what it is, I need some kind of world's pairs. That's what I need. Some, I need a pairs partner that can hit doubles, hit finishes. Yeah. I, I, I'm okay with the score. 100. <laughs> 
Well, this is turning very quickly into a high scoring game from Lisa. She's had uh, five tons of 180 already. 45. Only, only just into the third leg, so she is on the hype train at the moment, Laura. 60. What can Lorraine and Stanley do to try and hold on to her coattails? That's the thing. Yeah, she needs to do something. Uh, not the best of starts for this, uh, this third leg. And all of a sudden, you can find yourself so far behind. 100. It's a good last start there. Yeah, she needs to find that travel with more regularity. But again, it's difficult when you're chasing because you're forcing it a bit. 100. And then again, when you're out in front, you're not chasing. It just comes more naturally, doesn't it? Twenty-six. I love the feeling of the atmosphere when you get to this stage of the competition. Yeah. You can feel all around you. It's not just watching what we're watching here from the commentary position, but one hundred and forty-five feels different. It feels more serious. It feels more, you know. And you can almost feel the tension from the players, can't you? Massively. It's, yeah. it's, it's a it's a big moment, you know. It's a silver forty-three. Not just a silver so tournament. It's not just you know. It's not just the prestige of winning it, like I said earlier, it's, it's about the yeah, points, it's, game it's show about and the prize money, it's about a bit of everything, oh, but Fourth Lisa just, just taking everything in her stride, you can just see on. averages there, you know, Lisa's on 80, 81, just under 82, and Lorraine just uh, just not finding it, just just down there on 67. It's, 83. It's, it's just an issue of consistency here, because Lorraine, when, when she is hitting... She's hitting it very cleanly. It's not as if she's getting a bit of luck, but look at this. 180! It, it <laughs> Lorraine's going to do really well. 45. To get anything out of this the way Lisa Ashton's playing. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed. Thought the nine dollars on there. <laughs> yeah. 57. Yeah, there's a few players that I think could do it but she's definitely one of them isn't she she's right up there with them we've seen one of the local guys gary Elliott. he got seven yesterday seven of the nine the funny 95 the open, we had two we had warren penny and we had uh liam gallagher from liam from limerick it goes 25. Back, it goes back to that wonderful age-old question that keeps popping up on twitter was what's harder a 147 or a nine darter 147 in snooker nine dar and darts Ooh. no um, don't worry Twitter will go mad. I, I, <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified to answer that question. Yeah, I don't. I don't play snooker. I get that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm going to respectfully bow out at the at the entry level of that question. But by all means, those on Twitter, particularly those who follow Laura, please do torture her and try oh and get no. the answer. Try and get the answer out of her to see what she really. I know what her answer is, but I'll, I'll not disclose it here. Thirty. <laughs> Lisa, you require 180. Put it this way, being a fellow darts enthusiast, <laughs> you can lean one side of that argument. 78. That's yeah, good visit. darts again, isn't it? Very good visit there. And Le uh, Lorraine back on a 165, so can't finish. Lisa in a really good position here to go 4-0 up in this final. 95. It's great thinking there from Lorraine. Lisa, you require 40. Down. She was trying for the 133, leaves 32. It was all in place. Okay. 33. The shock on Lisa Ashley. Well, you require she 70. Let's go for that double. Here is your modicum of opportunity. I have to take it, Marie. Yes, that's game shot and the fourth leg. That's right, well, she heard you. Well, Stanley. Coach, I coach a lot of people. Fifth leg, it's Lisa to throw first. Game on. But that just could be a foot in the door. I know it's a hold. But it's a foot in the 140. Say, okay, you know, can get there with another one. Who he takes one at a time. But then I'm angry, Lisa Ashton. It's not a pleasant one to play. Absolutely not. But also when we watched... Um, 100. I mean, Lisa had it all her own way, didn't she, in the semi-final against Noah. But uh, Lorraine was 3-1 uh, down Very against so. uh, Ros Bulmer. So 55. she does know how to fight herself out of a corner. Mm -hmm. One hundred and twenty one. One hundred and thirty six. These ladies are really putting it up to each other here. And Lisa's left 
The big fish. Eighty one. Lisa, you require one hundred and seventy. There's one hook. There's two. Reel it in. Oh, one hundred and forty five. Mm. What an effort. But again, just even with that effort, you know, Lorraine now having to try and match that to leave herself any sort of an opportunity to take a leg here. 99. Yeah, it's been a great leg from both sides. We'll say you require 25. Just one one visit from one of the players without a treble. And actually... 17. Could be an opportunity. I think they're just uh, having a look at the scoreboard. There you go. So, Lorraine, you require Technology. 100. 100 for Lorraine. Tops twice again. Perhaps. Well, why not? There's one. Go on, then. Go on, we'll have it. Yes, oh. that's game shot. And the fifth leg. Right. Lorraine wins Stanley. Sixth leg, it's Lorraine to throw first. I thought we'd get a right game on. from Lisa there, but I can tell you there wasn't. No. <laughs> the double-double finish... It, it feels, it, especially from like I say, as older players, but it feels a bit cheeky, right? One hundred exhibitionist, perhaps. Absolutely, yeah. so, and as I said before, it totally makes sense. It's it's double the size of a treble, but when you're on the end of it, twenty six, and you were in a position to win the leg that you played absolutely awesome in. Yeah, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth. Absolutely, absolutely. And Marian has started really well in this leg, and Lisa, I and mean, we just sixty spoke about those very small opportunities that you have to take. She's taking one there. Now, Lisa started with a 26, but she's recouping very quickly. 140! She's kind of just told me to shut up there, and I'm happy yeah. with that. I'm all right with that. So I heard you, and now I'm going to raise you 140. <laughs> Lisa's with poker 140. chips, 140! Jim Fenn really well in this leg again. 100! Yeah, from, from a match that started that felt quite one sided. 60! Lorraine's, Lorraine's done what she's done against Ros, really. She's she's uh, just pulled out her A game when she's uh, got her back against the wall, and it's. Uh, she's understood that. The 43! Job, you know, the Lorraine, you require 141. She re <laughs> 83! Fifty eight. One hundred and forty. Fifty eight remaining. What do you need to acquire fifty eight? Neck and neck. Eighteen. We say you require fifty two. Twelve. Letting you require 40. In the context of the game, I don't know how big it's going to be, but that felt quite big. If this goes... Two tens. Yes, that's game shot and a sixth leg. Lorreen wins Stanley. Seventh leg, it's Lisa to throw first. Game on. It may be a different game now. It may be a different game. 60. And when you have, a, 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 as a player, when you have a substantial lead, when you have that 3-0 lead, when someone starts clawing back at you, it's really difficult. How do you swing the momentum? It's almost 22. Impossible. Well, apparently momentum is... <laughs> I've had arguments about momentum. I get it. I think I think more than anything, 85. when you start winning those legs in a row, it gives you belief as a player. And when you're against it, it makes it really difficult. Darts, as much as it's... Uh, throwing pointy sticks at a board which is essentially what 60. it is such a mental game oh absolutely it's mental anguish <laughs> well that's, <laughs> that's my game it's torture yeah no I'm with you I'm 60. Totally we're, with we're you. all a bit sadistic I think playing this yes. game but um, at the same time you know I, I've often referred to darts as beauty and the beast because it's a beast of a game and it's going against you but it's a beautiful game to play you know when it goes right anyway 42 fair enough <laughs> Oh, 
140. Yeah, good visit there from uh, Lisa. Leave yourself on 156 again after 12 darts on a three dart finish. And the line just uh, not finding much after levelling it up at three all. 39. Yeah, Lisa, you require 156. And to be fair, this is where Lisa can really cash in. She sees this. 100. It's almost the uh, the DNA of any good dart player. When, when your opponent makes those slips, you absolutely punish and capitalise. We're in fighting back again. 81. It's one thing you can't take away from the fire. She's a true in the game. She's proven it in the semi final yeah. again here. Double six. Yes, that's game shot. And the seventh leg. Lisa Ashley. Not the way I would have did it, but you know. Eighth leg, Lorraine to throw first. Well, to be game fair, on. Lorraine's in the double double. I don't think uh, Lisa intentionally meant the double double, but it doesn't matter. It all counts. That's it. Yeah, there's one back for you. <laughs> 60. The beauty of it being in two weeks' time at a, a new event, these two ladies will say, Oh, do you remember? <laughs> we hit this double double. 140. <laughs> the amount these guys play against each other, they sometimes don't even remember yeah. the meetings. I think the only one that normally remembers these kind of meetings is the one that loses. Oh, yeah, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. 60. Yeah, it hurts. Ninety-two. Yeah, good last start again from Lisa Rashton. And it'd be great because uh, Lisa Rashton, uh, we've got the Grand Slam coming up with the PDC. Not so long, and Lisa Rashton's in there along with Batman Sherrick. Quite interesting to see, uh, see what she can do along all those uh, top guys that are playing in the uh, in the event. She's done. She's done it before, didn't she? Play at the uh, the World Champs. Eighty-seven. She didn't make great progress in terms of going deep in the tournament, but. She absolutely held her own and, and proved that she's capable. Absolutely, I remember. You know, and, and I know Fallon got a lot of the fanfare. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and, and very rightly so. She played very well, you know. But there's a, a, a lot of substance behind that with the occasion for her. Of course. I think Lisa's probably a little underrated there because I thought she was phenomenal at the World Championships when she played. Was it, uh, she played, yeah. She, I remember her when she played Jan Decker. I think she was averaging well over a ton yeah. when she won that opening set. I'm sat at home 60. on my sofa and jumping around. <laughs> I'm excited. You 82. It's wonderful. Yeah. But 82 here for the set. She went 17 for the ball. No, 42. She went 17 for the tops. See, this is why I don't count. Yes. I told you this. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, I tried so sorry. Hard. I, sh I should have corrected you there, but I thought I'd let you <laughs> make as, You can make as much of an injury yourself as I do. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> Anyone that's ever heard me knows that 60. I cannot count for Toffee. <laughs> or see me play. There it yes, is. Games. Shot. And the 2022 20, Northern We're Island up. match play ladies champion. Give me your thoughts. Lisa Ashton. With a new match play champion. What do you think? Yeah, no. Also, Lisa was, com was in control for most of that match. But I do admire Lorraine so much for the fight that she has within her. She was 3-0 down, brought it back to 3 all, and then Lisa just found another gear and Lorraine just couldn't keep it going. But, uh, you know, double double champion for the uh, Lisa Rashton this weekend. Phenomenal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a weekend for, you know, rank and points, praise, money. You know, a lot of people looking around might recognise Lisa from, you know, all of her plaudits, but these competitions help you keep that career on the road, help you get to the Grand Slam, help you travel to these Absolutely. venues. You know, that's the beauty of these events. You have to have them for people to be able to keep doing it and she's just proven why she's one of the best. Yep. You know, absolutely fantastic. You can see in the averages there, she was slightly higher than Lorraine. I think Lorraine struggled in the first three legs to get going. Once she did get going though, she certainly gave Lisa a bit of a fright. Um, but ultimately, what a fine ladies final that we had. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. Thank in you the for having me. Booth. It was, uh, I've enjoyed it. Wonderful having you and your expertise of the ladies game. Uh, for now, though, we're going to take a very short break. Hopefully, we may get a quick word with Lisa, but I know she is dashing out today to, to get right home. So, uh, look, thank you so much again for joining us. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back for the rest of the men's semi finals and finals coming up soon.
Derby. <laughs> Up collector match play trophy, Damien. Yep. And another prize pool. Another accolade to the ever growing career of Lisa Ashton. Amazing, yeah. She's a wonderful, wonderful player. A wonderful attribute. Great on Basel for a ladies' game. Oh, she, such such an attribute to darts. And like, I at called all it. Levels. And I called it right this time. Oh, well. <laughs> well very wrong, Aileen de Graaf. We were, we were just talking there. Laura Aileen just didn't go her way this weekend no. at all. You know, normally she's in the lavish. She just won Belgium. You know, no. uh, but look, it was just a very quick presentation there, folks. We're going to take a quick break. Don't worry, we will be back soon. Myself and my old pal Demo back in the booth. Demo, are you ready for the men's event? Well, it's nice to give Laura a chance to see what she's made of, but unfortunately she had to run away, so uh, you are stuck with me she now could, she, she, the remainder. she couldn't contend with our banter. Here we go, folks. We're going to have a quick <laughs> break. We'll be back soon. Talk to you later, folks.
So folks, welcome back here for this youth final. Alfie Bird, Victor against Johnny Stewart earlier on, playing Travis Burr, the son of the big brainer Paul Brown. If Travis Bird will come here be a regular to these, taking part in many um, classics down here through the years. Not the just good Lord was a child. Yes, not just not just people who've been participating in the men's events as well, and holding his own. He's been here throughout throughout many, many courses of this competition. Right, to start us over, it's Travis to throw for the bill first. And here he goes. In the final. Best of seven legs in the final of the youth. Outside. Just slightly outside there for Travis. Alfie, of course, the grandson of 25. the 25. Alfie Dunlap. wins the bill. <laughs> Joey Dunlap. Oh. The 2022 Northern Ireland Open. Open Youth Final. First leg, it's Alfie to throw first. I did Game not on. know that. Now you do. Yes. Of course, the Dunlops have a great history in darts as well, not just in motorbikes. 22. Not the best of starts for him there, but... I'm one thing I would travel, he's very, very focused. 15. But only a 15 to start. Maybe uh, maybe Travis always was a fast thrower. Occasion 70. nerves there. Occasion yeah. nerves, you know. But Travis been on that stage many a time in the past. I think... 85 60 that 60 are just probably setting them down let's see if there's 85 in the previous visit setting down Travis 60 59 so you commentated on the game with Alfie Bird and Johnny Stewart earlier on. Um, so you may have more of an insight into Alfie than I do. How do you think this will pan out anyway? Alfie's, uh, when, when he starts hitting those trebles, he's... 140! Just he's like quite, that. Yeah, he's quite zoned in them. Uh, can be a heavy scorer, as can Travis, but Alfie's uh, he's got a really good attitude towards the game. You can see he's keenly enjoying 121. Alfie, you require 150. He's, uh, he's young... But he, he almost has experience on his shoulders, you know. Yeah. Forty. Travis should acquire one hundred and fifty-six. He, di he didn't let a lot of uh, a lot of Johnny stuff phase him, which is good, you know. Don yeah. Johnny was hitting good scores. Good Forty-three. Finishes. Didn't really let it phase him. he require one hundred and ten. Very good temperament for the game. I say this is probably been a bit of a shock that Alfie had to get Johnny because Johnny's been doing Travis so well lately. Win many of these tournaments around the country. Well, funny, Johnny was just, as you know, Johnny had just been defeated by yesterday's champion, Thirty-two. Yeah. in an epic 4-3 encounter in the 45. men's event. And then had to go into the second round of youth then up against Alfie. So whether or not there was a bit of recoil from, from Game that. Game shot Johnny, in the first leg, you know, Alfie Beard. But he took it that for as well to take a one the lead. Game on. So, let's see how Travis kills on having... Ha just having the darts in this leg. 42. And only a 42. We're here now at the... Uh, we're at the tail end of the competitions now, Damien. We're down to the series. 40. Yes, this, this is the nitty gritty, as they say. Or as a famous, well-known football manager once put it, squeaky bum time. Indeed. Coined the phrase. Indeed, yep. 45. Which is included in the Oxford Book of Phrases. Oh, how I miss him. Included in the, the Oxford yeah. Book of Phrases. And one 140. To Great Alfie dance. Bird, Travis Burr. Well, Travis is going to, you know, he's going to have a, his work cut out if he's going to win this. 58. But he'll, not be, he'll not be too dejected at going one down on throw, you know. No. Now just that just he's on throw, he just has to... Maintain his composure. 45. Not let anything that Alfie does annoy him. Win his legs and see where it takes him. 100. He's starting to find a range now. He's starting to get there. Alfie seems tailed off a wee bit. Great on 40, but... 45. Hasn't really done much since. Just letting Travis back in this here. 60. Two very rapid throwers. One hundred. Very quick throwers. 
Not take long rattling through this game. 58. Yeah. Mark Murphy, you require 131. Yep. As these guys move around the board, brave and sharp, as you can see. 99. Man of great appearance Travis himself. 138. Or a glorious leader up there. He knows what he's doing. And no doubt about that. 32. Oh, Alpha, you require 32. Bit of a dejected look there for Travis. No score. Mm. Travis, you require 106. Travis, you're not going to get more many chances like this. That's a good first start. Yeah. So, 26, double 13. 80. Alpha, you require 32. I think that was Travis's chance to go level here. Game shot in the second leg. Alfie Beard. And Alfie takes the opportunity to go 2 0 ahead. Like Alfie to throw first. And now he has a dart to go 3. Ahead. This is what it's all about, Damien. 96. And a good solid 96 there to begin. Measly plus the pressure from Travis. Forty. And he can just respond with a forty. Sixty. Oh, he really does look concentrated there, doesn't he? When he's thrown. Absolutely. And he's in a two-nil lead here in double quick time. Forty-three. Doesn't show much emotion either. Very, very little reaction at all. Fifty-nine. If any. Oh, see, Travis, you just see the frustrated look in Travis when he throws a bad score. So he, the world exactly knows what he's thinking. 85. There you go again. Her last start. But Alfie just no reaction whatsoever. 55. Just a wee glance at the scores there. He's welcome passing. That's all, that's all the facial specials you get from Alfie. 41. Point with her. Good first start. 85. So another 85 there for Travis. So just level peg in this leg. He can take it, he can just re grab a bit of scruff and neck and drag it through 47. the end. Not with our like that, he won't. No, but there's a there's a big ask here. 121. Alpha, you require 158. Let's make sure that you're not trying too 41. hard if you're nope. Alfie there and you're out. Travis, front, you require you know. 86. I understand. you got to try. you got to do your best, but. Oh, unfortunate bounce out there. You need an 18 to go for the ball. 38. Go for the 20, so 38. Alpha, you require 117. Leaves 48. So 107, so 12, 19. Zone. For tops. 97. Oh, no luck, Alfie Bird. Travis, you require 48. One of some finish. So, the grab the brick back. Two tens. 28. That was close. Alpha, you require 20. So, we're going three now ahead. Go one leg away from lifting the youth title here at the Masters. Ten oh, scores. Nope. Travis, you require twenty. So, twenty to go. Need to take this chance now, Travis. And he takes Game it. Short in the third leg, Travis Barr. So, the deficit is halved. Fourth leg, Travis to throw first. Game on. The dulcet tones of the pup. Again, looking rather dapper, may I say. And again, 85. Again, no kilt. No kilt today. 95. 83. So another. <coughs> so 83 there from Travis. He seems to sat in. All again, we're saying games turn moments. Maybe mess about in that double by Alfie. 
and a slight steal by Travis. How are we going to turn this game? Yeah, you Forty six. You don't want to be getting. You certainly don't want to be getting into a battle of uh, scrappy nature here because forty. When you're throwing so well, is it all of a sudden becomes a scrappy game? I think that'll suit Travis more than it's going to suit Alfie. Yep. It's like for just such a young age, he's got vast amount of experience in darts. Eighty-five. Good last one there from Alfie. Just sees initiative in this lake a wee bit as Alfie. Al Fifty-eight. Thirty-six. Just like, really has the catch far yet. Ninety-eight. Just the last one. So Alfie, you require one hundred and forty-five. So one hundred forty-five chance here for Alfie. It's not going to go now, but just to leave it handy, needs a travel. Fifty-five. Yeah. Travis so should require ninety. Two boys here locked in ninety. And Travis's first dig at it. So. For the ball. Game he shot it. the fourth leg. Travis Barr. And he gives it the big one. Fifth leg, Alfie to throw first. V Browner gives it the big U. We give it the big one. That was a nice finish, but yeah. a nice we show respect. 54. There too. Yep. But as you said, has the game now turned? Thirty-six. Only a 36. That was the chance for Travis to seize the initiative. Like even the, even a, a solid 60 would have, stuck, would have done with the that game, that, lay, that, that visit. Forty-six. Travis's body language tells a lot. Ninety-six. Yeah, it's keen, isn't it? It's eager. It's yeah, almost. As if there's a certain anticipation within what he's doing, you know. 98. 60. I'm very impressed with Alfie. I like, the, I like the way he throws, so just Cameron, just no a flicker of emotion at all whatsoever. Just gets on with the game. Good score, he's okay. Bad score, he doesn't let on the bad score, he just doesn't let it phase him at all. Just goes with it. Yeah. Wish I could do that. Sixty. I don't think you're the only one, Damien. Thirty-eight. Yeah, well. You know, I like when I'm throwing darts. I, <laughs> if I throw a bad score, everyone knows I throw 45. a bad score. The, the age of anxiety has the arcade firewood, so. I haven't heard that down the long time. Well, you should. Oh, I know. They're oh, awesome. Oh, I know they're, I know they're good. I know they're 60. good. They just have Alpha, you require 129. Have they released any new stuff lately? Oh, or yeah, yeah, the new album out this year. Oh. Went to see them in concert there recently. Very 40. Good. Oh, where is that? In Dublin. Oh. I'm not mentioning it. It's about 27 that band, isn't it? 59. Something comes to it, yeah. <laughs> Alpha, you require nice 89. No, down, turn 19. 41. Well, there's nothing wrong Travis should require 138. Count, but his accuracy is slightly off. Here's Travis. He was going the old 19s route. 44. So 44 Alpha there leaves 94. So it scored going for 28. Oh. Just doubles again. Travis should acquire 94. A, a little uh, a little dip of the eyes tells the story of that visit. 54. 54 Alpha you acquire 20. Left, two so tenths nice for Alpha. Could be too little too late. Oh, that's a bit of a flyer. Oh dear. And you've only uh, got your chance to no score. Travis. He's not happy. Travis should acquire 40. Just the composure seems to lessen a bit there. Game shot in the fifth leg. Travis Barr. 
So Travis Bar moves within one leg of seeing to get in the title. What? Moves within one leg of a demon. Six leg. It's Travis to throw to first. Game on. It will be interesting to see how far he can truly go and get across that lane. So as he just keep the composure, but not with Dorset. Like 22. That. We did say, all joking aside, we did actually comment on it. And we did say that, you know. 29. Travis has all the ability, all yep. the temperament, all the experience here. Alfie. He needs, 60. He needs something a little bit special here, so he does. Just a little bit special. 100. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Just need to hit, hit more of them. Yeah, a 21. Now, a little bit of repetition here. Now, Alfie needs to punish this. He needs to travel here. 59. Forty-three. That's unfortunate. One of, any one of them was going to land in the travel there. As Alvin moves downstairs, he goes back up. Fifty-nine. Forty-one. Eighty-one. There on the microphone. Not quite sure. Where it's coming from. 123. <coughs> That's good, Darst Travis. Slight bit of interference there, just on the caller's microphone, but that's okay. 61. So. One hundred and twenty-six. Alpha, you require one hundred and twelve. Great visit. One hundred and twelve. So go. Oh, we're, we're on here. Twelve. Right in the middle. Tops. Right in the middle. Taking his time. He knows this is important. Ninety-two. Oh, going under. The wire. Travis should acquire sixty-five. Sixty-five. So. Sixty-five. Going under it. Uh, one. So fourteen for the ball. Oh, he's missed the big fourteen. Twenty-five. Alfie, you require 20. Game shot in the sixth leg. Alfie Beard. So we're down again. Seventh and deciding leg. Alfie to throw first. Down to a one game game shootout. To apologise, folks, about the slight interference in the microphones. 99. So, Alfie starts for 99. 41. Travis can just follow with a 41. So, advantage Alfie here in this leg. 34. Well, a visit like that, he probably hand the initiative right back. Travis, let's see what he can do here. 60. He only a 60. No such thing as only. 60. Yeah, but he really needed a traveler just to re ram home that sack visit there from Alfie. Well, it's dark for dark, isn't it? 41. It is now, yeah. It was probably a wee bit of nerves now jangling between the two boys up there. 60. Yeah, at, at such you know, at such young ages, becoming international champions is a huge thing, isn't it? One hundred. And Travis has all the experience for as much experience as any youth international possibly in Europe. Or senior. One hundred. Yeah. But that's a good answer there for Malfi. Leaves him one four eight finish. Ninety nine. And a good reply Alfie there. Alfie require one hundred and forty. Leaves one sixty. Two big finishes, but the two boys are capable. So thirty at these. Set up shops. One hundred and ten. 57. Travis should acquire 160. 40. Oh, that's unfortunate, that isn't is it? unfortunate. Alpha, you require on 91. There. 91. Down he goes. 74. The 11th route. 63, so probably back down for 17s. I don't know 
13. 41. Mm-hmm. Travis should acquire 120. Ties it up to try and leave a clean two dart finish. Well, the Shanghai's not going to go now. 35. And the nerves are now jangling. Yeah. Alpha, you'd acquire 50. Clear to see it. So 18 or 10 here. Oh, 36. So two sevens for the title. Thirty-six. Oh, I think he's probably afraid of that. Probably afraid Head of and should acquire moment, eighty-five. Head in hands moment for Alfie Bird as Travis Bird now comes up. Seventy-five. Fifty-eight. Forty-five. Seventy-five, and he doesn't go. Alfie, you'd acquire fourteen. No, I'm surprised at that. Game oh, shot. The 2022 get. Northern Ireland Open Youth Champion, Alfie Bear. That's what you should have went for it. Well done, Alfie. But Alfie didn't, and Alfie came in and take full advantage of it. Well done, Alfie. Well done indeed. He's over the moon. You never see the pup again. His dulcet tones doing, calling the games, refereeing. Fair play to him. Yep. Tremendous referee that he is. Oh, brave one. Possibly the best in the world. Yeah. Loads of stuff. Alfie Bird then, Damien, is your new youth champion for Northern Ireland. What yeah. do you think about that? Well, new name on the trophy. It's great to see the, new, the young ones coming through, isn't it? The youth. But, um He's an excellent player with an excellent attitude yeah. and, and a, an excellent future yep. ahead of him. Big career ahead. He just, just keeps committed. He's just dedicated. Stanton there to the back of us. He made his way to the back of the room there. Yep. Celebrate with a few of his friends. Hopefully try and get up the word room later on if we just grab him. No, he seems to be a bit busy there. So, move on now, I think, now to the main semi-finals. We'll certainly be moving there, yep. Uh, just before we get ready, I know that Mark will be... Uh, keen to get the uh, the names and numbers gathered for that so we may take a very quick break and we'll be back with the semi-finals of the men's event very shortly ladies and gentlemen thank right. you thank you tell you later folks
So, folks, here we are back again for our first men's semi final. Sean Griffiths of England against Davy Kerwin from Scotland. And I anticipate another cracking game ahead. The 
Like the two boys came through several tough games to get to this stage, so they're obviously very, very good. You see the boys in their final practice throws here. Of course, no doubt we'll have the pup back up doing the scoring. Oh, yeah, and they're just waiting on the sidelines. The uh, the ruggedy, rowdy Scottish will be back here and screaming on their compadre here and Davy Kerwin. Yeah, but John Griffith has his fans as well. He's got a crew with him, all right. Yeah. So, in this best of seven semi final. up along the uh, left hand side of the floor Jamie and I have seen him in some close encounters a couple of 4-3 wins along the way yeah but he came through them and Sean uh, from the floor earlier on uh, Sean did have his own crew there with him shouting very very loudly for him this morning it's just dragged him through that game yeah tuck it Right to start's over, it's Sean to throw for the bull first. Well, you heard the pub, so here we go. Bullseye. Oh, straight in the ball there. Let's see if Davy can follow him. 25, Sean wins the bull. So, Sean first leg, Griffith Sean to the throw first. Here. Game on. In the first leg of this first May semi-final. And off we go, and he's straight in. Ooh, unlucky. 120. On the nearly on the floor there. 120 floor. Sixty. As well, we just see the Indigo crew coming in there to watch to take their seats for the semi finals in the final. Yeah, you can see everybody moving down the hall. That's where it all starts to fill up. 40. Right. You'll see. Another bounce out for Sean. Everybody wants to get their seats and feel the moment now. Yeah, Sean would probably be better throwing with three darts per goal rather than two. Yeah, that would help. 58. One hundred. And you hear the Scottish response there for that, Tom. They're shouting them on. I wonder if it'll be help or hindrance, though. Oh. I'll soon find out in the next visit. Forty-five. Goes downstairs now. Fifty-seven. So not much in this leg so far. No. Suppose what a help there because Sean's darts had to stay in. One hundred and forty. Good one forty. Just when he needed it. Forty-one. And it can't be followed Sean by Sean. Ninety-six. Game shot in the first leg. Sean Griffiths. A good finish. Go one hit. One in Second leg. Davy to throw first. Game on. Nice quick fifteen darter there. 
That's the right way to open your account. Yep. In the semi final of such an event. 46. And only 40 decks to start for Davy. Forty-one. And only forty-one replay. Like I said, Davy was doing all right, and then there was a cacophony of noise from his Scottish peers here in the audience. And well, the question was asked, "Help a hundred to seem to eighty-three. Well, that was a good last one there, just when he needed it. They're happy to try and lift their fellow compatriot here. Sixty. In his journey in the semi final. Forty four. Ninety five. Ninety five, that's a good. Trying his best to grab this game by his scruff of the neck, but I don't know if his nerves are. 81. It's the fact that we're playing darts all weekend or fatigue setting in, but. Well, there's going to be a bit of that, I think, isn't there? Yeah, well, there definitely is. There has to be at this stage, this latter stage. And remember, some of these guys were playing in the last eight yesterday. 60. Too, you know, and they were yeah. And the, even the last 16. And you're coming through, you know, they got to 300 odd our tours to get there you know it's a long haul a long stretch 100 that's good darts Davy Kerwin leaves him a 1-4 and a maximum snooker check out six day on a sexy Davey you'd acquire 147 Davy has six darts to take it that's 147 not the start he wanted. 40. And only a 40. One hundred. Well, a bit of pressure there. Davy, you'd acquire 107. So 17, which leaves 98. 38. Shake your head, tells you everything you need to know Showing about that. Showing you require 85. It certainly does, Damien. 85 to tidy this up. So 20 in bowl. 20 in bowl to go. There's a 20 gun. 60. Well, that wasn't far away. So. Davy, you require 69. Davy looking for 69s here, so 17s possibly. He went for 19 there, he missed it. So he has to go 16 on the ball here. 48 scored. 60. Nine left. Showing you require 25. He made a bit of a mess of that, Davy. So nine for two hits. Game shot in the and second leg. Two Short the lead. Third leg, Sean to throw first. And there's the Scots there Game trying on. to G up their, come their countrymen. I think we all know, though, Damien, it's, it's quite difficult in 41. the situation that Davy finds himself here. It's still best of seven, so it's still quite a short format. Yeah. And to really drag yourself back into the game, you need a moment. You need 57. You need a big score of 140 plus or a big check out of say 130 need plus need something just to something to change just to ignite yourself in this game 85 so far without really pushing himself Sean's take, having this all his own way yeah I mean you know Sean's a 17 dart leg there and a, a great 96 check out to go to and up but I mean it's not been, I suppose maybe just a lot that we've watched over the weekend has been rapid pace and yeah. it's been, you know, this hasn't 59. been that, this has been more. Like we've seen some great, we've seen some great games, great legs, great moments, 
all weekend. Yes, all weekend. This game, so far, say it could be fatigue. One hundred. It, f- it feels more tense. Yeah. That's that's where I'm going with it. It feels that the tension that both men are currently throwing under is impacting their ability to... 140! I'll, I'll be quiet now because... Yeah. Sean Griffiths just put that out of me. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe those are the moments we're talking about, you know, and these legs need moments. And 134! And all of a sudden, Davy Kerman's had a couple of moments here and he's in this leg. But Sean just looking to set this up to try and put pressure on that 150 that Davy's looking. 100! And he does that. Brilliant. Davy, you require 150. So they're maybe not the sort of 153 balls. Mm. No, it's going a different route. Well, fair enough. I'm, I'm not even that brave. <laughs> 42. No. Nice. Sean, you require 76. Damien. You took out the 96. Traditional route. So. You go three twelves, will you, or will you, what will you do? No, you go for a 20. Yeah. So 16 on the tops now. Just guarantee himself. Yeah. 36. Oh, well... Davy, you require 108. I yeah, think even Deshaun would say himself, that was a pretty poor attempt at the top. A, a long inch. Yeah. A long inch out. You're on 108. Surely. 92. Surely. You're Sean, you require it. 40. Well, I think he's probably going for 19, 7, 19, double 16. I understand. He's yeah. in the region. I understand. Yeah. But Granted, it's not the way I would go for it. Uh, but Game shot in the third leg. Sean Griffiths. Sean Griffiths. He's really used Fourth leg, Davey to throw first. Well, like, but Game on. Like, that's not the way I'd went for a living thing, and that's why I'm sitting down here and there up there. Yeah. The Scottish contingent, out. they're really trying to will their man on here. Davey looks focused. He looks... He looks 100. Yeah. He's in the game. He's, he's in the game. He's, he's hitting, game, but he's he's hitting big scores, but so Sean. He just can't get away from Sean. Sean seems and to be timing yeah. everything just nicely. You and know? Sean's taking his chances when he has to 100. Taken. Again, he scored a Davy hits. Sean's right behind him. Right behind him. 100. That's good, solid. Dodge now. That's well, there's consistency here yes. now. Davy's probably found his way in this game now, but he is still three legs behind. 45. He has won the next four to get in the final, so it's going to be a tough ask for him. It certainly will be. 57. 57. Scottish Bones still there shouting their encouragement to David. Yeah, he's still in this. He's still in this, Damien. Yep. Sean's making it tougher. 140. Um, it's even tougher now. Well... Davey has the throw, so you know he can seize the initiative here with another couple of trebles if he can find them. But he's, that's what he seems to be finding difficult. Fifty-eight. He just seems hitting the big scores when he needs them. As I said all weekend, it's all about timing. Sean's hitting the big scores at the right time. One hundred. Just like that. Nice. So a ton, two tons on a ton forty. He's three legs up. He must be thinking himself. He's one foot in the final already. 140. But the pressure's home now. Sean, you require 116. And the loudest cheer of the match so far for that 140. What would we like if he wins a leg? <laughs> That's a very good question, David. What will they be like? Yeah, well, they're going to get their chance 100. now. 100. David, you require 46. Pressure's on now, David. Let's see what you're made of, mate. Yes, simply to avoid defeat. Yeah. Is this here because Sean Griffiths at three dots at double eight. Fourteen. Oh. I fancy. Sean, you require sixteen. I fancy that Sean gets this done, Damien. Oh, he's not going to mess about here. Or is he? He may do. Twelve. He does. Oh, finishing fever. The Maybe hardest you require double 32. to hit is the winning one. Yeah. Everyone knows it. Stay in the game. Game he gets shot it. in the fourth leg. Yeah, David Kerwin. And there you go. Fifth leg, Sean to throw first. 
Game on. Well, we did ask the question earlier on, and there's a response. Plenty of noise, as you thought. Yeah, well, we've been loud all day, so why not stop now? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? We've had the pleasure of the Scottish contingent in front of us most of the yeah. day. It feels like it's an episode of Rob C. Nesbitt sometimes. <laughs> you understand Rob C. Nesbitt better than someone 97. else? 97. I see you, Jimmy. <laughs> So we could start here from both these players. Sean's looking to get this finished up Raven soon. 140! See, he's in a rush here to get this done. He certainly is, and it's on throw. And the weather has turned stormy here in Uri. Like you're joking. Um, 100! Davy Kerwin is caught up in a bit of a storm here now too. Because Sean Griffiths, with another visit like his last, could really put... Davy. 100. And a tailwind. Yep. That was very poetic. Thank you. Yeah. Here's Davy to answer. Good answer it is too. 100. Darts. Yes. Great darts. And bent the wire. Could have easily been a 140. And Sean will tidy this up. Try and leave himself the best possible out and opportunity. 59. Only a 59. Leaves a 106. No returns. Not sure, I think it would have went half the bowl there, but look, who am I here to tell these guys in the semi final of the Northern Ireland match play what to do? Exactly. 78. You're a Newry Purse champion. Sean, so you require 106. You've, you've, you've got more authority than I do. <laughs> so 86, so treble 18. Gets it for double 16. 74. Oh. Divi so. Kerman. Davy, you require 126. He has a shot, Damien. Yeah, yes. He For some reason, I feel that this is the shot, though. He has to get this 19. Another one of them would be nice. Oh, oh he missed a big 19. You oh, can see the reaction of the crowd behind Kerwin. him. Reaction of me? I thought he was a cert to follow up. 74. Oh. Sean, you require 32. It's tough. Oh, that is a tough, that is a bad break there for Davy. Three darts, double 16 to be in the final. Oh, bit of a flare there. Game, Get shot, them. there it is. And the match, Sean Griffiths. Sean Griffiths moves to the final. Damien, yep. that was as tense a game as you're going to like. Well, that was the tense, most tense game all weekend. You can tell, even the average is there, that both players are not happy with the game, but that's what happens when you get to these stages. The tense arm, the, the tightness yep. comes in, the, the lethargy from the long dead darts, all of it, it all happens. Well, we said before, it's not about the performance, it's about the result at the end of the day, and Sean gets there. Yeah, that's right. a, it's, a, it's a marvellous result for Sean, and kudos to him, congratulations to him. He deserves it, he's worked very hard. Um, Davy's devastated, you know, big yeah. claymore. Well, it's not as if he didn't have his chances. No, and it's, it, you know, he's being consoled there by his friends and colleagues, you can see at the back of the hall, yeah. um, close to our commentary position here, and, and they're right in what they're saying. But he's got the semi-final, so not a bad weekend for him after all. It was all said and done, I'm sure he'd be happy with his performance. And our next semi-final is coming up now, a truly international affair in Uri. A truly international affair in Uri with Kaifan Lung and Chris Landman. Yep. Hong Kong against Holland. I never thought it was, I didn't honestly didn't think I would say that phrase this weekend. Well, you could have said America against Hong Kong, you could have said Scotland against Germany, you could have said Norway, there was some of the No but Norwegians Hong here with us this year. It's great. It's brilliant, but it's really international. It is an under international silver ranked tournament. Yeah, but Kai Fan Long, he's been around all weekend. Quiet as a mouse, you hardly Notice he was here, but he just lets his darts do the talking. Yeah, well, he's, he sat for long periods watching. He's, uh, something that we've noticed about Kevin for most of the, the uh, both days. Now, he got the last eight yesterday. Yep. And now he's in the final today, so he's in good form. Uh, Chris Landman, of course, you know, a regular on the uh, circuit for the WDF. What is, what is there to say about it? I, I'm very respectful of the fact that the man is brave enough to wear such a large medallion on the outside of his shirt. You know, I mean, 
I, I thought that would be the Bee Gees, but Chris well, Landman is bringing it back, and I'm proud of him. He's bringing the 70s back for a player. I'm loving it. Now, well, let's let's just hope that his darts can match the current form of Kaifen Run here, and that we're going to have a superb game. But I was saying, Kaifen, he's, he's very astute. He's a student of the game of darts. He has, uh, as you will know here in Newry, we have... You probably can't see it from our camera view at present, but we have large 100-inch screens that are showing the stage games at any time, so anyone in the venue can watch what's happening on the live stream. So your pictures are shown live here in the venue also, guys, what you're watching at home. And uh, what's really, really interesting about that is that when Kaifun hasn't been playing, he has been glued to watching the large screen and watching what everybody's doing up there on the stage. So although he hasn't been on the stage all weekend, he's seen enough at such a close range that he seems to be able to get the experience of yeah. it and the tension of it and, you know, the feeling of he's being He's just there. been sitting there on his own wee table. He's got his own stuff around him. He is just he's in his absorbing own. everything. Yeah, and, and look, it's great. It's great to see... Um, both with Chris and Kaifin, such an international flavour yeah. to the event. And I'm sure that, you know, our colleagues at the NIDO will be delighted to see such an international representation in the last four of this competition. Um, as with yesterday, but of course with this this competition today, semi-final one between uh, an Englishman and Scotsman, and semi-final two between a Hong Kong uh, representative and a Netherlands representative. I mean, you don't get much more international than that, do you? Well, it's the most international darts competition they've ever commentated on. Opens. And you've done Six Nations before. Yeah, you've done Six Nations before, yeah. And Tri Nations, you've done the lot. Yeah. So, it's great to see. And also the classic um, friendly between the, the Northern Ireland and Republic Ireland a couple of years ago. That was, some, that was a great day, that day. I'm looking forward to getting a look at mm. Kevin's darts. I like the style of the flights. I'll say that they're they're quite long. They're a long bar and they're a long stem. I'm not sure if his stems are translucent they or, are, or well, very colourful. Well, I did. They, they kind of look colourful. They look almost, uh, sh should I say, matching? They are matching. I He's also a lefty as well. You gotta watch out for those lefties. Now, here we go, we'll get a close up view of these darts. Nice. Yes, colour coordinated indeed. Coordinated stems also. One thing we'll say about Kaifan. More traditional black arrows yeah. coming in there from Chris Landman. One thing we'll say, he hits the travels with such regularity, he is just punishes them travels. He's, he got, he's got gripped points, as yeah. you can see there as well. Back grip points. And he doesn't let anything phase him. Added he, security there for the dart to stay in the board. Like you could throw any big scores at Kaifan, he doesn't care, he just goes and he just follows them. Yeah, you've, you've seen a bit of him on the floor, yeah. Damien. You've been watching him this weekend. Very, very impressive. You actually, you actually did come back to me about an hour and a half ago. You were talking to him down at the big screen. You said, you know, yep. he's in good form. He's enjoying it. He's not taking it all in his stride. Um, and you told me he's one to watch. So yep. here yeah. you go. Right to start. So if it's Kai, yep. to throw for he, the bill he first. He is enjoying his, his weekend here. Near. As you say, he got the last day at yesterday. I'm actually very surprised. This is his first, day, first um, appearance on the stage. He's just been... Thrown so well. 25. That's 25 a piece at present. Let's move to the next round of bull up. As Chris goes first this time. 25. Another 25. Just outside, Chris wins the bull. So Chris has the darts in this leg. Now we're talking off the First leg, it's Chris to throw first. Chris Lamb. Game on. 
Watched a couple of games of his as well over the weekend. Very impressed him too. Very, very good in the very, very good. 99. As Chris starts off with a cool 99. Wonder did he take a flick with that? Yes. Very good. Thank you. Even at this stage of the competition. I was 41. I was expecting that a lot sooner, to be honest with you. <laughs> Me whole. Usually come in with that a lot quicker than you usually than you do. One hundred. Yeah, you had to say. It. I was expecting. It. I was expecting last year. Let's just say. It. That's all I'll say. I had to save some. Our viewers at home <laughs> expect them. <laughs> and they're welcome to them. Yep. One hundred and twenty-one. There we go now. Sarah, he does hit the tablets with regularity. I think he just held that on the wrong side. I think there's been a slight miscount, has there, Damien? I, don't know, I think the score's on the wrong side. Well, Chris definitely kicked off with the 99, because my flake joke was absolutely pristinely timed. It was, did Kai Van hit 100? I think he, he hit maybe 40 something with his He first did, throw. yes, he hit a 41. That's 41, right. yeah. And then he hit the 1 2 1. Yeah. So that was a 41. 42? Well, okay, give him an extra one, he needed. it. And then 100, and then 1-2-1. One, one. And that's us now. And we're back on. And we're back. We're sucking days on. Thank goodness for the genius of Mark McAvoy being able to sort these things out, because I just wouldn't have been able to. There you go. Yeah, yeah, 41. Yeah. Scores are absolutely key. We're spot on now. Chris Lamman on throw, and here we go. Sometimes technology isn't always cracked up to be. 58. Sometimes it's something I'd better... Chug, stick a chalk on a blackboard. <laughs> We're used to that, Damien. Yep. Uh, mostly writing out lines for teachers. <laughs> no, he just usually got 100. It's a uh, one, two, one ton back to back there for Kai. 100. Chris oh. Landman not letting him run away. No. I want to say, Kai found this and not phase him. It shouldn't do. No. As you said, he likes to sort of just take things in his stride. 59. Chris should acquire 144. So 144 here for Chris. So back to probably down the 16s. Yeah. 88. Only guess the 8, but still. So tidies it up for yeah. him. Yeah, but Kai not able to finish. No, but he would, so Chris will be back in. Kai will be looking to put some sort of pressure on him, though. Ton would do it. 100. Tom does it. Chris should acquire 56. Coaching them in for these guys. I'm sure they'll thank you for it later on. Absolutely. 46. Or in another life. Now you'd acquire <laughs> 80. I might just wait the next year. <laughs> so, 80 to go for k Oh. So, 25 ball. Well, that's unlucky. 18 scored. 23, so... 57s. 74. Leaves him on 6. Here we go. Two fives. Game shot in the first leg. Yeah, Chris Landon. That. That's, that's the sort of finishing Second you need at this stage of the competition. Game on. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Leah and Caleb, my two kids who are watching online with Mommy. Hello, you, Leah and Caleb. You guys better be being good because Daddy will be home soon. With ice cream. No, 140. That's not true. Don't listen to Damien. He's telling fibs. Sorry, my ice cream. <laughs> Haribo. Well, Kinder Buenos. If they've been very 180. good. 180. That's some answer from Chris Lampman. If they've been good, they might get a treat, but they'll be in bed by the time I get home, I hope. <laughs> if they're if they're doing what they're told for their mummy. Might not be. And big thanks, of course, 100. to Wendy for letting me come all weekend to the darts. Well, I'd like to say thanks to my wife as well, but she's not listening. So <laughs> she doesn't listen at home, Damien. <laughs> not going to listen now. Exactly. <laughs> You're probably glad if he's some quiet. Now, stride for stride, Chris and Kai. Kai's back in that treble. You're right about his, his favourite trebles here because he's absolutely pinging them. 180! Such a leg of darts. 81 after 9. Incredible stuff. 81. Kai, you require 81. Also, he's got a bit of time to do this. 
But the way Kai's throwing, he could just take this out in two. Well, three now. 49. He's just tidied that up, and that's yeah. not a bad thing to do. No. You got the time to do it. Look at this, though. Chris is back in here. Yeah, you're all right, Chris. Stay, stay where you are. All right, you're there. You're okay. Stay where you are. If only you could hear us. Huh? 100. Maybe we should try and add that to uh, McAvoy Dart streaming for next year. We'll get earpieces for the throwers. If, listen, it could be our unique selling point. <laughs> you know, a new way to throw darts. I doubt. Listening to us. I, I doubt they don't want to listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> and throwing doors like Mark McAvoy's in the production 16. area shaking his head vigorously. <laughs> Says, Chris should acquire I have 18. to do enough of that over a weekend. God love the players having to do it. How could you, how could you imagine? Look at this. So this is going to be a leg stolen. 60. Ooh, maybe not. Okay. Now you require 16. You're going to have to take this out. Some, like imagine it. Imagine it. Kay's in here going for a stubble. I'm not sitting here talking about Manchester United and Arsenal. Well, I don't think you'd appreciate it. Man. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Kai getting over the line and getting one on the board here. 12. Oh. And he's struggling to do it. He is. So Chris Lamb has an opportunity 20. here to steal in. Talks a very looped dart. No score. Just can't take advantage of it. Not just yet. Kai, you require four. So this will hopefully settle Kai down. If he hits this. Game shot in the second it. leg. Kai Fan Lung. Though, to be honest with you, Kai Fan Lung has been in the worst situation this. Game on. And he's came through them. But now he's level at one each. 60. I fully expect Kai to get a, at least a one treble visit here. There's, there it is. My prediction has come through. 140. He's a really heavy scorer, Kai, isn't he? Oh, he's... He loves them travels. Yeah, he's going to need to start loving doubles soon, though. 60. He usually is brave in handling the doubles. Well, to get to this stage of the competition, yeah. he's had to be, you know, but... Yeah, he's he he's got can't continue 100. to give he's Chris got Lamb the opportunities yeah. he gave him in that last leg. Yeah, but he he's seems not going to get away with it. Hopefully, seems like he's got the bad leg out of the road. Now he's just he's settled down. 41. He knows where the doubles are now. Yeah. He'll start for his, for hopefully for his sake he starts hitting a bit quicker he's a fine dart thrower there's no doubt about that he's got all the attributes to go the whole way today yeah. 60 I'm sure his, um, his run the quarter fans Jesse gave him a, bit of, a good bit of confidence he could do well this today not the flash of the dark shirts up, but One hundred and thirty. That's a unique way of going about it. One hundred. Can you require seventy-one? Oh, seventy-one. So seven, seventeen, or seven, thirteen. Be the way to go. So fifty-eight. So eighteen for tops. Yeah. Composure. Game shot. The third leg. Kai right Fan Lung. Fourth leg, Kai to throw first. Game on. See, nothing just seems to phase him. He just gets very, goes about his game. Minimum fuss. Yeah, your type of thrower, Damien. 100. Yeah. You, you enjoy watching throwers with that approach to the game. You always have done. Yeah. No histrionics. 85. No babbles. Just go in. No drama, throw darts, move on. Yes, I like Swords, who's a total opposite of me. V very much so. Yeah. Much like our good friend. And 121. Commentary buddy today, Laura Turner, she's the same. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't get phased, doesn't in, enjoy any history. 125. She on on yeah. likes to get on with her darts. I know that you did get a little bit phased when you were talking about earlier on, but th it's the star power that you were star. I, I, you were starstruck. I had only admitted I was starstruck. It's not every day you get the chance to come in with a a bona a, 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 a real commentator. I'm not saying that you're not a real commentator, like. Yeah, but well, you are, but anyway. Yeah, but well, mo we'll move on from that before we fall out in the booth. One hundred and forty. You don't work for Sky Sports. Now you require one hundred and forty. Look at this leg. One forty after nine, and Kai coming in. 
to potentially take a 3-1 lead in a race to four. Well, he's going to have to tidy this up. And the incredible thing is, Chris Lamont's within 85, 125, 140. 60. He's sitting on 151. One Fisher require guards, 151. And he's scrapping to stay in the leg. Just goes to show the scoring power of Kai Fan. He's just. He's been doing this all day. Scoring power of both players. It just feels like it just. At times it feels like he's. 105. At times like it just uh, feels like he's 80. bullying players. Yeah, but like we'll look at the With averages the shortly. And it's. Uh, it's absolutely clear. Forty. That K fan has high score. Christian Acquire forty six. Just he was just about averaging ninety there. Obviously, slight dip in that. As he approaches the double there, that's on thirty eight. Here comes Kyle Acquire forty. That's just that wee loosening of the arm there. Did you notice that? Yeah. Just a very slight loosening of the arm. He's feeling a little bit of tension. It's understandable. Oh, K fan. Probably the worst start he's thrown on the weekend. Well, he's not happy with it. You can see that. Eight. Chris should acquire eight. Game shot in the fourth it. leg. Chris Landman. So we're level pegging again here, folks. Fifth leg. Chris to and throw first. Game on. A superb game so far. Maybe doubles are letting the players down at different stages, but... 100. They're looking for scoring power. Like. It was like I said in the, pre in the, in the first leg that Kai Fan won. You can't keep giving those opportunities no. to your opponent. When you get the dig at the double at this level, you have to take it. You have it. to take your chances, but if you're just talking about scoring power, these two players are probably the best, two of the best we've seen all weekend. Oh, absolutely. Consistency, ability. 134. Regularity. Everything about them. Great approach to it. You can see very clearly how they've got to this stage of the competition. Yeah, 68. And the latter stages all weekend for both players. Bit but of a loose one there from k -Fan. There's just been a slight upping of the performance 59. here from Chris Lamb. And just, his ton count is raised, his ton plus counts there. You know, there's very little in it now. Yeah, well, he's had the lift because the, just the, the sheer scoring power of k -Fan. 140. Yeah, As that's his fourth ton plus. And four legs, along with eight tons. I mean, we're in the fifth leg, 60. and they'll be scoring at that rate, Damien. It's hard to hold on, isn't it? Especially after the amount of darts he's thrown this weekend. There's 120 left, so... Probably back up. 82. See, when... Whenever he seems to have 148. Kayvon seems to have a second to think about something. Yes, he just... He seems to drop yeah. focus. It's very, very strange. Odd, in fact. 85. Can you require 115? Well, how do you go about this? Goes on. Another loose one. Kai Fan's just... The consistency seems to have left him a wee bit today. On this leg, anyway. 67. 58, is it? 75. 48. Chris should acquire 63. Thirty-one. Right, so, Kai, you require forty. Kai hits this. He goes three-two up. Game shot in the fifth leg. Kai fan long. And one away from the final. Sixth leg. Kai to throw first. With darts Game on. Two. And he's in. Loads of room for another one. One hundred. What a good start. I'm happy with that. And Chris is in as well. 140. Chris isn't going away anywhere. He wants in this final too. So K found just recomposes himself. And he gets the target he's looking for. 123. And Kind of difficult to do, isn't it? That yeah. One hundred. Okay, fan. Again. Back into 
red bed, Damien. 100. Back into that little red bed. He is solid in them travels. So is Chris Lamb. He is, yes. Look at this. It's even more so. 140. Now. He's a rocket ship, isn't he? He's so quick off the mark when he gets one landed. Yep. It's just go, go, go. When the first one goes, you're fully expecting to fill it up. And he's also given a great, great shout of win this leg. 94. Chris, you require 121. No, let's see. Not no, that's not how you want to start. No. The frustration. 85. You, you clearly see the frustration. Guy, you require 84. But 85 leaves 36, so it's pressure in this guy, fan. Great leave. 84. 15, so he's going to count that out. 69. 69. You've 69. Really, only one option, Kai fan. Let's see what you can do with it. With Chris Lamont sitting on 36. Kai fan Long for the bow. For the final. To go to the final. Oh. 59. And he wasn't far away, was he? Chris, you require 36. So. Close as you like, and as far Game as shot the, the sixth leg, leg. Chris Landman. Because so this one is going to a decider. This is going all the way, Seventh and deciding leg, Chris Can to throw dance. first. Game on. Two breaks each. Can Chris hold? He is rapid. 100. He hits He's that first travel, and he is rapid in yep. behind those darts. He is off to a good start. There's very little chance those darts to actually fall away. Both averages well into the 80s here. As you can see... 43. Okay, slightly higher, but only slightly, and that'll dip. They're more or less a, a clean match for each other. 100. Chris Lamont just hit back to back tons in the open leg of the decider. That is epic stuff. That's the sort of start you need in the last leg for semi final. Okay, he's hitting back. 100. But is it too little, too late? Chris with a. 50 point advantage, you may say, plus these. 180! Make that a 230 already point advantage. Already down to 121. 230 point advantage, and Kai hits a 5 in his first start. He's going to be raging at that. But he's banging the the 19. Chris should acquire 121. So, what a time for your scoring just to leave you. She said probably too little, too late. 25, 96. 91. 91 down to 17. Wow. 81. What a dart. No mess about what here. A dart. Get that man a shield. 57. For the arrows are flying. Fresh should acquire 40. So three darts to take. Move in the final. Good marker. Another good marker. No score. Three all, good markers. All great markers. Unfortunately, none of them on the target. No. Just gonna say, Tony would put pressure on it, but he needs at least one treble here. Needs one treble. One hundred. Gets it. Finds it. Chris should acquire forty. Straight in. Say too little, too late. Two tens. Two fives. There it is. Gets it. Shot and the match. Chris, Lam Chris Landman. Chris Landman, the Dutch destroyer. Has taken out Kai Van Lung. Kai, of course, can't be disappointed with how he's performed there. But all credit to Kai Van Lung. He came over here, he played, and he done well. Great weekend for him. Quarter final and semi final. Yeah, look, it's, it's certainly ranking points galore. He'll be happy, but he was so close. So uh, very close. The, the challenging part is, he, in my opinion, he was in the controlling seat for large parts of the game. But what he didn't do was he didn't kill the game off. He gave too many opportunities when he didn't need to. And you can't do that against someone with the, the no. absolute quality and experience of Chris Lamman. You just can't do it. You can't do that at this stage of competition. No, very not, very much not. But, but listen, what a, a, an epic semi-final. Two fantastic semi-finals. Two very different semi-finals. And that leads us to what I can only imagine will be a complete stance clash here as we go. Uh, there's a, an interesting picture right there. Yeah. The Mark's produced there. Oh, Thanks there for that, Mark. I appreciate that. There we are, Damien. It's yourself, myself. We're back in the commentary booth here live. Um, I'm looking forward to the final. Clash is... Can't wait. Clash of stage. It will, it will be, be good. good. will be good final. So, um, Sean Griffiths had a 4-1, uh, four, four, one, wasn't it? His, um, his semi-final. Yeah, Davey didn't... Ha, no. da da Davey had a bit more to do and, and just couldn't get... Couldn't make it go. Got going for one leg. Yeah, Sean, just wasn't in it. Yeah, Sean was in like complete control of his semi final from the start. Mm -hmm. Chris Lamont had the fight. 
Absolutely. And he fought and he came through. So, But, you know, Chris Lamman has, has clearly shown and proven that above all things, what you'll find here is you can get a chance and take it and it can bring you all the way because that's what happened Chris Lamman there. He got a chance. Kai gave him the chances. Yeah, well, yeah, well, he took it. Well, Kai left it over for him and at least three of them legs. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And Chris, and Chris, took, Chris took his chances. It was, it was a credit to him. Did phenomenally well. Both players, like you've seen the scores, you know, you're, you're talking double figures, a ton plus scoring yeah. across like the average, The averages were, were brilliant. I think overall, but Damien, if we're looking at it, Sean, Chris, based on what we saw, Sean's got great timing, heavy scoring, yeah. great attributes to have, good temperament. I think he's going to be hard to shift. Yeah, but I Chris think Lamman, uh, well, he'll be buzzing off that semi-final, and that might carry him through here. Well, they make, they make the case for Chris. Chris fought. Chris was came through a hard game against a quality opponent. Sean Griffiths came through. He had it all his own way. He didn't have the fight. Davy Curran didn't perform the way Davy Curran can throw. So in 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 one game in one circumstance, I totally agree with you. Yeah. However, this has been a weekend of fights for all of these players from the first round right through the biggest challenge now is the fight against their own confidence they're going in both men should be absolutely bouncing getting to a major final like this in the Northern Ireland match play here on the the final day of the Northern Ireland Darts organisation Northern Ireland Open Weekender I mean we've had the Purs Friday night great competition we've had the Northern Ireland Open yesterday fantastic competition and now here we are at the match play to finish this weekend off. This could be an electric final to finish well, what's been an electric weekend. Well, this weekend deserves an electric final. And we've got the two players here to make it electric. We, we certainly do, yeah. So two, like Tremendous, tremendous players. You can see Lorraine Blanton's up there with Mark. I know that she's... Uh, yeah, so the trophy. She's potentially going to put the trophy up. So... The guys can see what it is they're playing for here, what it means to them. I would, uh, if I was a batting man, I'm not, I would say that Chris Landman will have to work hard to maintain that standard that he's thrown out there. What would you think, Damien? I would say Chris Lamont came through a tougher semi-final. He'd be more confident. He'd be buzzing. That's why I tentatively would make Chris Lamont a slight favourite in this. Just on the basis of the fact that he came through a tougher semi-final where he had to fight for it. So... I'll, I'll stick my neck out and go for Chris Lampel. I was very impressed with him today. As we work towards the, the final of the event today, the end of this, won't just say thank you to everybody online who've stuck with us through thick and thin. To uh, everyone here, Lainey's who have been so gracious towards us, Damien. To Mark, obviously, for having us on board. Yep. Well, shout out to Bellinis, they were brilliant all weekend. Shout out to the players for coming up on stage and performing so well and have given us so many great games. And for being so courteous with their time with yeah. us and enjoying what we were doing yep. and, you know, the feedback that we've got this weekend about the production that yep. Mark's put together. Yep. Thanks to everybody who joined us there on the stream. It's amazing. Yep. Thanks to Mark. Thanks to Laura Turner and uh, Mark McLernan for joining us for commentary and for uh, just to give us a break and a bit of a rest. Much appreciated that was. Absolutely. But now, as we see Sean going to the practice, we'll go to our intros for the final.
just see Chris Lamman approaching the stage there now, Damien. He comes on with a red hot arm. We've seen this with Lisa Ashton in the ladies' final. She was straight on to the final after the semi. Both men obviously well respected in their, their own leagues, their own counties. Their own countries. Their own countries. Yeah. Like Chris Lamb, like he's been in all around Europe, throwing in challenge tours and PDC tours and P or WDF tours. He's been he's been around the block. Sean Griffith, I'm sure he's been around the county scene in England and one of the one of the main men in the county scene in England. Yeah, well Sean's definitely pitching for pitching for greater accolades within WDF circuits. And winning this competition would be a great start for him. I think he's got the fame, so he's guaranteed a few points and a few quid. So, he started at about 12 o'clock yesterday and is now just coming up to quarter past seven on the Sunday evening. Very enjoyable, very enjoyable games the darts we've had in the stream. It's been a very enjoyable weekend, long weekend, turn weekend, but enjoyable nonetheless. Me, it has been a fantastic weekend for darts, a fantastic weekend for the NIDO, a superb weekend for McAvoy darts streaming. Mark back in action on the live scene again after what some may call too long of a break. Well, yes, we did. We did a lot of right to start. over at Sean online for streaming the at home, and we worked with a lot of different organisations in promoting their darts throughout. Bullseye. But you know, this is the heart of it. Yep. This is twenty-five. Sean wins the streaming. The 2022 Northern Ireland match Feeling play final. The it's the first leg. It's Sean to throw first. Amazing. Game on. Well, I said yes. The first one. The first thing I said was, "It's great to be back." It has been great to be back. It certainly has. Genuinely mean that. It's been great to be back. 26. And great to be talking about a game that we love. For however much we hate it. <laughs> well. 140. Look at this. Chris Lamman has just started where he left off, Damien. Yep. Well, I did say that. He's got the confidence. But Sean's not going to let him away that, that easy. Let's just remember, it's the best of nine 100. legs in the final. And they could go all the way, like the open final went all the way last night. 85. There's every er possibility. A er very, very real possibility that it's going to happen again today. Every possibility. And many chances that it could happen as well. <laughs> 95. Good 95 there from Chris. A bit of a flare in the first start. Chris back 140. In Chris is on fire in this leg. He just just picked up from his from the last game. He's K fan. About the styles as we thought. Yeah. So looking back over the weekend, we had a performance of 85. the weekend. Ooh. Performance of the weekend. Hard to look past Gary Elliott. Uh, on Game the shot in the first leg. Chris Landman. Look at that for a 1 3 6 check. That's the way, that's the way to take it. Like Chris to throw first. For a 12 Game darter. On. 12 dart leg. First leg of the final. Against the darts. Back into the travel. Chris Landman's on fire here, Damien. He is. 140. So, um, Gary Allen performance of the weekend. Gary Allen, one, one of the many yeah. performances. Lisa Ashton in the semi final against Denise Cassidy yesterday. Truly incredible. Um, Lisa Ashton again today in the final. 42. It was, it was epic. Um, but there were some moments, some lovely moments uh, watching. 100. It was nice to see Roy Bailey this morning up on, oh, on the stream. It's a pleasure to watch Roy. Just the same, but it's not the result he was looking for, but good to see him up there. Um, you know. Uh, moment of the weekend, I'd probably say it'd probably be Chris Gilliam's 1-5-6. 140. Yesterday, which was just came out of the blue. Just, just goes to show the kind of player that Chris can be. Yeah, 100. Again, there are so many moments, and, and yeah. I'm sure whenever... 
Mark is looking back over this and picking his highlight reel. He'll uh, he'll scar through some of those absolute fantastic moments yep. that we've had. But I think you're right. Lisa Ashton performs in the semi final against Denise. Yeah, I know he wasn't counting on his watch. Pressure to Oh shoot, unbeatable. No one was going to touch Look that. This is on, Damien. This is on this is for on. the ball. 129. Oh, he didn't go for it. I love it. I suppose he'd done the right thing. Of course he did. Didn't need to go for it, but... You know, moments, of course, I was uh, part of the entertainment last night after the, the main event, and, you know, what a wonderful occasion that was, too. 81. Well, I should acquire 32. I have heard stories, but so I'm not going to mention... Well, like Game shot in the second leg. Like Chris Landman. For the sake Third of leg, the Sean to throw first. The voice, we hear, the voice we hear on this game is also a wonderful singer. That's all I can say. But uh, well, he's got the voice for it, hasn't he? It's just been it's been a great occasion. The entire weekend's been fantastic. Chris Lamman is 2 0 up in the final, averaging 120. Hasn't skipped a beat from that semi final. In fact, 140. Fact he's he's improved. He's went up a year, hasn't he? And Sean Griffiths is doing zero wrong. He said, you know, look at this man. 140. He's literally on fire. He said four tons, four ton pluses. Sean Griffiths is averaging just short of 90. <laughs> he's still he's down. Getting, he's not even getting a sniff. He's not getting a chance. 68. This is just phenomenal from Chris Lamar. 60. The one thing I'll say is there's always a dip. There's always a dip. Yeah. Sean, Sean Griffiths point. has to take that chance yep. when it comes. Because, you know, the greatest players in the world, the greatest players of all time, don't maintain 123 averages on the no. regular. 60. Well, they're very, very few and far between, isn't it, aren't they? But wouldn't it be great if he just didn't be able to maintain this? 95. Sean, they're very focused looking. It's working for him. 140. Fantastic. That's what he needs. He He's needed that. Two 140s again this leg for Sean Griffins. Look at this. From Chris Lampman though. 140. Relentless Sean, you require on the treble. 93. Putting pressure on the 93. This is Sean's first sniff really at a finish. Yep. Possible two daughter here. So. Not a different route. So 78. 60, he's going to have a big 20 and set that. 73. Yeah. Mm, hit top. Special acquire 66. Still on a double, but, but... You know, it's maybe not a bad idea just yeah. to take that wee... Take that wee dig. Game shot in the third this. leg. He's Chris Landman. Again. Chris Landman is not missing. He is not... Fourth leg, Chris, to Sean, throw first. Sean's doing nothing wrong. He's not Game on. getting a sniff. Chris Landman is just... Uh, well, what Chris Landman's doing, he's putting so 83. much pressure... On Sean Griffiths. So Sean Griffiths' best chance of winning the leg there was to take a 93 check out. Exactly. Right. And when you haven't even had a sniff at a double in the first two legs, and the only chance that you're getting is to take out 93, you don't do it, and then he finishes. 134. It sends a message exactly. to Sean Griffiths. And Sean, Sean, is, Sean Griffiths is answering as best he can. And let me tell you, many another 26. game, he'd be 3-0 up exactly. the way he's thrown. But you did say there about dips. Chris Hamill's thing up. It looks like he's... Having his dip now, so this is Sean's chance to get in here to get on the board. Sean's oh, he's given up. He's given 180! He's given himself a great opportunity Sean's now. Sean's up this level and he upped his finger there to point to the sky for the 180. 59. And here we are, Damien. We're right in that zone of the dip yep. for this leg. He did say the dip would come, man. It looks like it's come this leg. Chris Hopin is, is only for one leg. Sometimes the dip doesn't even last the full leg, Damien. Sometimes it's only 100. six or nine darts. Sean, you require yeah. 87. That lasted nine darts. Well, again, 87 coming in after nine. Good dart. That's brilliant. Game shot in the fourth leg. And Sean Griffiths. An 11 dart 11 leg. 11 dart kill there. Fifth leg, Sean to 11 throw dart first. leg to get on the board. Game on. And again, Sean's average will still be knocking around 90, 99. 99. You know, and then Chris has come down 20 points, Sean's went up 10. That's where we're at. Yep. You know, so 30 95. points. 95. the averages are. Not the averages aren't everything, of course. They don't really 
give you the flavour of the game and how it's going, but... 100. Like we said, Sean Griffiths, he hadn't been doing too much wrong. He done, he's done, he done nothing wrong. Just Chris Lamb never gave him a shot. To find himself 3-0 down, and now 3-1, but now he's getting back into the troubles himself. And 140. And he's oozing confidence at the moment. Does a bit of a yeah. swagger on his walk up to lift those darts out. Yeah, but he's still going to have to work hard to keep Chris, Chris Lamb on the bay 100. here. 100. Back to back tons for Chris. Rapidly paced game, Damien. It is, isn't it? I don't think we've had a real slow game the whole weekend, have we, in the stream? No. 81. We absolutely have not. No, all players are just brave and rapid, shall we say. 140. Fantastic. This is some level of darts we're seeing here. Chris in the He's on 161 after nine. Sean. Trying to change. Great last start. 77. Great last start. I should acquire 161. He's on 108 after 12. 161 after 9 on Chris's side. 81. 81. 19. 97. Sean, you require 108. 108. Now he's, again, now he's say he has to take this out. And he's gone downstairs, and instead, downstairs, he didn't oh. need that, though. So 95, so 13 left. He didn't need that. He's on the joke there with the pub. Can't believe he did that himself. Yeah, it's twice he's hit a double towards the end of a leg without actually being on it. So 96. He's getting his practice in all Fresh right. He should acquire yeah. 64. So but that does put a little bit of pressure on Chris here. Not that much, obviously. Game no. shot in the fifth leg. Chris Landman. And there he goes with another 14 dart leg. As the man says, Sixth pre- leg. pressure's Chris for Tarsh. First. Game on. Pressure's for my belt. <laughs> Young fit lad, like he. 81. Shouldn't have any pressure in your belt. Back into the travels again. This is incredible stuff. 180 of the match for Chris. Second 180 on the match or from the match for Sean and he's 4 1 behind. 85. And again, look at the averages. They're neck and neck. Neck and neck now, yeah. No. Definitely increased his level over the past number of legs. But he can't. He's, he's, he's giving Chris Lamont chances. You cannot do it. Kai did the same thing. Yeah. Give Chris Lamont chances. You cannot do it. Well, that 95, the last leg. 60. The 96, he scored with 108. That's just unfortunate, shall we say. Yeah. But we shall say that. Yeah, but sure. You give Chris the chance. Only he was in control of it, Damien. 58. That's the key, isn't it? Yep. And that's why we all, as dart throwers, beat ourselves up and we give, give these chances to our opponents. Because we are in control. 135. Uh, Back at it again. Sometimes you just get used to it. To leave himself 140. That's Damien. They are two great averages. Like, a 98.76 average and he's getting beat 4-1. That is the level we're 60. at here, folks. Chris should acquire 140. Yeah, and you're asking me... You were asking me really not five, ten minutes ago about uh, performances of the weekend. 60. This final performance from both 145. these players has to be right up there, Damien. Not far off, it has man. to be up there. 145 and probably needs to go. And a, d- a different sort of final from last night, too, whereas last night was full of tension and drama. 58. This one has just been sh- this acquire is sheer quality from both players. Not that last night's wasn't, but. There's a slip. On a different level. 40. There's a slip. Sean, you require 87. Ooh, he's human after all. Again, I feel he has to take this out. So 20 for a ball. Oh, oh Sean Griffith. I can't believe that, Damien. What have you done? You don't 37. Open again. Chris, you require 40. That's it. Some would say... Oh. 30. Ooh. The master of his own demise. But Sean, he you require 50. He the opportunity out of, he's here. He's got out of jail there now. Big breath. Where does he go? 18 or 10? Oh, 18, I'd say. 18 is right. 32 left. 16. 34. Too many chances. Yeah. Chris he's, should acquire he's 10. He's given Chris Lamont too many chances There's here. only so many times you get away with that. That's a good guide. 
game and shot. Is. And the 2022 Northern Ireland Match Play Men's Champion is Chris Landman. Well deserved. Well deserved. Sean Griffith has to be looking at that and saying, How? what more could I have done? I averaged 92. Well, he like, said, you give too many chances to Chris. Player Chris O'Callaghan is going to be all over that. But Chris Landman, absolutely chuffed. You can see he's walking through the crowd with it. Handshakes and hugs and like he's he's absolutely chuffed with himself. Look, yep. I so love the, I love the design of his shirt. By the way, it's a, it's a, it's a proper good and it's got the it's got the uh, motif and outline of his face oh, across the back nice. of it, which is pretty cool. Yep. But on the medallion as well, don't forget oh, that. Listen, he's a, he's a disco diva man. Oh, and he's, he's got a, he's got a motif on the back it's of his shirt. He's got the medallion out. Chris Lamont's my type of guy. He's got the night fever going. I'm telling you. So, folks. Well, that's that enough of our jive talking. <laughs> oh, my Come on, I had to give one more before we went. Oh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Why do I do some stuff every year? Thank you so much uh, for your company. It's it been, what, what about that, Damien? It's been, what, what a weekend. What it's, a, been an what a, what pleasure, it's, been, it's been an absolute pleasure to be back. It's been an absolute pleasure to bring this coverage to you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed the crack, the banter, the guest commentators. The surroundings, it has just been brilliant to be back. We just have to leave it up to uh, the officials now to do some official presentations. So we will leave you with the views of that. But do stay with McAvoy Darts Freeman. You'll see the presentations for today's champions. Thank you so much for sticking with us. We'll be back soon with more live streaming events. And of course, if you're watching this, you'll have found the contact details for Mark and his stream machine. We will, uh, of course, be willing to come and attend your events and help you guys out. Get in contact with Mark for more information about it at McAvoy Darts on Facebook. Mark McAvoy on Facebook. His email address is there and mobile number all in our advertisements this weekend. Thank you to NIDO for having us again. What a great partnership we've had. Ladies and gentlemen, from us, Damien, we're signing out. Good night. Everybody, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. Right, folks. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.